I, I'm gonna jump into the lobby here. Playing mid. Mm -hmm. Um. Which is a problem. I would say flute was better than Zaraxxus. He said he's, uh, Zarek said he'll probably be 20 to 30 minutes late, but obviously we're not entirely sure. Okay, that's good. Um, well, if he can play late, then one stand-in's better. Right, I don't know. That's, that's probably the preferred option, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Those? Really. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I the, the, if the other team's annoyance is two forfeits. Then fair enough. But... Like we can we can forfeit the first game if it's that they don't want to play against two stand-ins, but we will be able to play the second game with Zaraxxus. Then why not just wait half an hour and get Zaraxxus to play both games? Because they're not available for that long, the other team, and right. we, we have no date to reschedule. Your top tower. Hmm. We fight as one. How do your team feel about forfeiting the first game and playing the second? Right. Uh, that top tower of yours ain't doing so good. Probably not. We're we'll probably gonna lose anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could always just play play, play the game whenever Zarax gets here, and then if there isn't enough time, they can take the free dub. Yeah, but if I was on their team, I'd just say there's not enough time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that might but... be a little bit of on amongst them. Just a little. Um, Amos was plus fouring, wasn't he? Yeah. Or plus fiving? He was. I think he was playing four. So we can put right. flute in plus four. <laughs> Have we done two stand-ins for any other games? No, just the one stand-in. Yeah. Maybe we. It's really unfortunate. Like, if we'd known in advance, we'd probably have sorted something out. But it's the fact that they both said only a few minutes before go time. Is there a standard we could get that is a handicap? We not got enough handicap. Well, I'm, I'm more saying like, if I was on their team and the two standards is bullshit kind of thing, then if you turned up with say a chrono or something as the standard. I would. I've looked through the list. I've actually looked through the list, and I don't stick to the list. List. The Krieger was on the list, and he was our standard. I know, but like I've looked, I've looked through my friends' list, and I've looked through the list, and out of the shitters that aren't already in other teams, yes. there's no one really available. Yeah. Kind of unfortunate I... that our two really bad players can't up here. <laughs> what do you mean, our two really bad players? Okay, We've got two... four really bad players. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Wait, you? you got five really bad players. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Retro isn't that bad. Yeah, but you can't be in this league if you're good. You're like the entrance criteria was right. to be bad at Dota. Yeah. I just mean perhaps yes. our, our heaviest handicaps. Meaning to smash that bottom <laughs> Which means if we get replacements, it's Ooh. almost certainly going to put the level of the team up. Yeah. For the I'm gonna... um, so I I'm I just want to do what you as two teams are happy with. You yeah, happy if you want to, the first if, game if I go down to the, the team one lobby, and if you come well, we, after we can't all fit. The other I'll ask him to leave. The took a trip to the old family farm. Come near. Evening, lads. Evening. Hard luck Evening. with your people not available. Yeah. yeah. Two of them just say they can't show up in what? 20 minutes time? Uh, we know. You all, you all fear the pinched fingers. No, don't be ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so keen to play. But, you know, we do. we'll try for Tuesday. But I think we might even have uh, problems with Tuesday yeah. as well. But. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, we're talking about um, forfeiting the first match. And that gives Zarek Zarek's a, time. Yeah, he should be in about a half an hour's time. I mean, maybe, maybe just talk to uh, talk to you so we can always just have a half an hour later start. It's fine for me. It's only eight p.m. here for me. Yeah, it's also an option. Here too. I think that's what they've done already. Uh, and also, if we have to have two standards, 
Um, if your team would be happy with it, because it's probably going to end up being an improvement to the quality of our, our team. It's, it's, it's fun. Unfair. It's fun. We're, we're actually used to it. We had that against Mancalf and against <laughs> Do It For Dota, and we fucking smashed them. So I, I don't mind. Your blood is Have you been caught up yet, Storming, with what's happening? No, I see Yoso's upset. But <laughs> Storming, you're, you're needed. No, wait, stop it. I'm going to pop down. Uh, yes. So, what's happening? Can you come down, Igor, please? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hmm. It's two options are alright with you, right, Grim? Yes. I think they're the first things that can yeah. be done. I, I'd, I'd like to hope they take the option to try and play the two games if they can. Right. I, yeah. Um, is it worth an at here to see if there's anyone else willing to stand in that they would be more comfortable with? Um, let's, actually, let's just see what they come up with. I'm under attack. No breaking through the dire structures for now. Like, I understand if they want to take the free win because of time constraints and stuff, but I mean, it'd, it'd be sporting of them to play the two games. Yeah. I, I don't think Italians have ever been sporting. The forest. Games, though, so. <laughs> Certainly during the event of 1939 to 45, the Italians were not sporting. Yeah. Switch sides, yeah. most part. popularity. <laughs> They're quite famous for it, if I, if I remember correct. It is also famously known as the event. Mm, the event. <laughs> the second great kerfuffle. <laughs> if anything, you guys, you aren't replaced. Re in in Zaraxxus, you're replacing a quite a lot, but for Amos, the first game, you definitely are replacing a lot, but the second game, Amos doesn't say anything in the second game. He usually mutes himself and dalkins himself. <laughs> uh, he, I mean, he he did like. <laughs> I mean, he did play very badly in that game, but he was very Should quiet about it. So... <laughs> was yeah. Yeah. Amos bad. is fucking awful at Dota. He he bought his ag shard on Witch Doctor before having his ult, and so he tried to oh, use. Uh, oh no! Did he sit true? Did he do anything? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice any of this going on until I rewatched it. Yeah. I'm not rewatching any of the other games. Just after watching that one, that's enough. Yeah. And he, 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 his first real item he bought was a Dagon. He had like 120 oh. XPM. Yes. No, 100. Was it 120? It's been a lesson. Or... Organize a team. Don't ask to be put into a team. <laughs> I was I was away. So I was, whenever I came back, I saw there was like one day left to organize something. Wait, I, I, I... I was under the impression that a lot more people would just get chucked in the hat. Yeah, that's what I think. Rather than be sweaty nerds and try yeah. hard about it. But, yeah. Well, my, my, my want, reasoning want for joining more. a team and starting a team was I can't stand playing Dota with some people. <laughs> Dota for me is not a sport. Dota for me is an enjoyment. And there are people that take that enjoyment and suck it away like a sponge. Yeah. And I didn't want to take that risk. <laughs> Well, I, I tried to put, like, you know, I, I thought Grumpy and New Retro would be happy to be on the same team together and everything. Yeah. I, I didn't know you that well back then, so it was kind of just, uh, let's put people, and then there was just Amos. And... Okay, guys. All right. So, first, we would like to wait for the Raxus, but we, our proposal is that if he's not here by 7.30 BST, so in 25 minutes, mm. we get a death win. And do we play when he arrives the second game? Because I think it's only fair that uh, if two people no show up 10 minutes before the game, there is some kind of, uh, no, I wouldn't say punishment, but accountability for not showing up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And second thing, would it be possible to have a reg on a support at least to make it a bit more fair? Reg on a yeah, support? Sure. Yeah, if, if Zaraxxus is back, Zaraxxus is the mid. We have I need a shower anyway. We have our carry. Um, he must play support. Okay, so we, we could. We, it's okay for you guys with this, this arrangement? Yes, yes that, that's We are trying fair. it to. We are trying it to. 
to help uh, and not be the bitches that get the death win automatically. No, 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 that, that, that's very fair of you. I, I, I think that's an amicable thing. So okay. we'll give it till 7.30 for Zaraxxus to turn up. Reggie goes on support. Reggie's terrible at support, so... Okay. Uh, then see you later, I guess, guys. Uh, Oh, yeah, we'll, we can be in at 7.30. I'll, yes. I'll put the lobby up now just so it's waiting and ready and I've got it sorted. Yes. So. so, can we agree that it's 7.30 is the time when the death win arrives, not 7.30 plus the 10 minutes? Uh, I'm, I'm happy with 7.30 if you are grumpy, it's more on you. Yeah, Got yeah, yeah. Okay. Am I the standing captain for the yeah, sure. you know, no, I'm willing to accept <laughs> you as the captain. I'm not I really trust... willing to, re to accept the responsibility of being captain. I trust your sensibilities more than I trust Amos's, so... I mean, you, you can't be any worse a captain than Amos is. <laughs> no one can be. <laughs> okay, I will, have, uh, I will go then, lads. See you in 25 minutes. Sure. Enjoy your 25 minutes. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Donk. <laughs> Almost feel bad for your top tower. Flute, your your services are appreciated, but not needed at this time, unfortunately. Are they not needed? Yeah, uh, we've, we've managed to come to an arrangement with the other team, so they will wait for Zaraxxus to show up. Ah, sure. I mean, I will. Uh, I was gonna watch the football anyways, so... Sorry about that. Eh, yeah, no worries. Thanks for... for... <laughs> well, Why would you watch it. football, Flute? They're, they're using their feet on the ball. You're at your hands on ball, man. Yeah. But there's also Belgium playing against Netherlands, and... That sounds terrible. Yeah. Why would you subject yourself to that? Whoever wins, Alex is the other. Yeah, we have to win 3-0. To actually win the tournament, which is weird, but that ought to help with those sneaks. I bet there's Belgians that are actually supporting the Netherlands. Long for this world. Uh -huh. well, good luck. Sure, hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find them myself and kick their asses. <laughs> Hate to be your mid tower right about now. Maybe I'll be costing them. <laughs> I might actually be. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely uh, really nice about everything you say. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's, this is best for everyone involved because I haven't played Dota since, uh, uh, like, my last game was more than two months ago, so. <laughs> I opened this Discord once and all of a sudden there was a Gunter National going on. I was like, oh, right. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck anyway. If you ever, if, if you ever need a stand in again, just ping me. I might be able to do it. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, uh, you're you're on the list now. <laughs> good kind. Nice. And also the bad kind, but that's another reason. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually, on a single good list. Pug. Yeah, right. Cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers. Radiant structures must have been fortified. Dyer's Like shit ton of games on top, a bunch of other random stuff, and then right at the bottom, a bunch of games on clockwork. People kept saying, "Oh, you're pretty good at clockwork," because I could land it. Unfortunately, I'm two and nine on him. Eighteen percent win rate. Killing spray. Double kill. <laughs> Rent asunder. Not yet. Against all strikes. Right, so the lobby's up. The password is blame Amos. Are they drink related? What? <laughs> you came too close to what is mine. Oh, what's it called? Somebody iced the dyer's courageous up here. The, the lobby is called a very, very obvious name. Yeah. It's typing in good in this one. Still waiting on EMOS to, to like, add one of us to the team. Yeah, none of us are in Mark Wahlberg. Really? Yeah. 
What, what, yeah, because that, that would have taken him more than like zero seconds to do it. So he's not done it. This guy is. It's terrible. He's maniacal. Make a team. He's maniacal. Claws out. I need pro info and teams. Is that it? Create a team. We will. I can make a uh, new uh, one uh, called. It won't make a dip. It won't make. It'll like. Yeah, it still do anything because it'll be on a different ticket. Different yeah, team. is it better than that? Nothing for the ticket? Uh, Arguably, it's still the same as nothing. <laughs> okay. mm. so at least it might appear in uh, in replays and stuff. Is the right thing? Set upon them. Yes. Sit upon them. It's not time yet. playing ability arena with Bean. Mm. Eh. Okay, made a blank one. I wasn't here for this, but what, what exactly? Why did we choose the name Mark Warburg? Uh, no one came up with a better name, so I was chosen. Yeah, I was, I was AFK, so I couldn't yeah. like submit. We proposed, as a joke, can we call ourselves the Funky Bunch minus Mark Warburg? Said, what about this Mark Warburg? So I was like, let's let's be the funky bunch, but get rid of the racist one. He's like, what if we were just the racist one? The other fellow's <laughs> bottom tower okay. is done for. Now that was something. Interloper. I didn't know Mark Wahlberg was a racist. Yeah. He's yeah, a, massive racist. He's he's done three racially motivated assaults. Yep. You're kidding me. He blinded an elderly Vietnamese <laughs> man during the Vietnam War in America. Like just a random Vietnamese man. Mark Wahlberg racist hate was... crimes the full list of actors racially motivated attacks independent article. Mm -hmm. also a great but we're supposed to be playing you next week some point as well. Fresh. Jonas quote, said he yeah, asked uh, Amos for a time and Amos has yet to get back to him. I should have died huh. with my Are you free next week? Can we have uh, a default win too? Oh wait, I've given him my availabilities. So. Yeah, I, I have. I'm very busy. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the, the awkward thing is, Amos' idea of sorting the availabilities is give everyone his availabilities on the spreadsheet and then mark when he's available that you're also available. Which is very limiting considering most times that's like after 10pm on a weekday. Mm. Here's Mark Wahlberg talking about 9-11. If I was on that plane with my kids, it wouldn't have gone down like it did. There would have been a lot of blood in that first class cabin. <laughs> Fresh, hmm. Jesus Christ, I never knew this. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, he was, he have was you a shithead. Have thought about rebranding? <laughs> <laughs> I think there was a discussion. I, I, Alright, I know what we'll call the team. We'll call the team Kevin Spit. Wait, they can't do that one either. Um, Kevin Wahlberg. The dire win and fortify the oh, structures. Kevin Wahlberg out there is fine with it. You just be Don Donnie Wahlberg, his boy band brother. <laughs> Have you thought of going for Adolf? Oh no, no that's probably. I don't know. What about Je Jeffrey Epps? Yes. Oh no, no, that's probably. That's probably. Mm. No. How about we just pick like? Like really if you just stick with a Jeffrey, you could go, go um... Career, and then so we look back on it in 20 years, and then we're horrified, rather than right away. No, 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 you, you, you could go for a Jeffrey, like, you know, the Jeffrey drama's quite a... No, that's actually... He's, <laughs> yeah, he's, got, Netflix, he's got a, sure he's got a series about, but... about him. Yeah, I, I, like I haven't watched it, so I don't know what he's it's about. Sue us. I, I watched the first um, first couple of minutes of it, and it just, he just seemed like a really nice gay guy in a bar oh, in, uh, in, in America somewhere. I'll rend their flesh. There's going to be a lot of people that's like, oh, I, mean, I didn't mind him so much before. And then all this gay propaganda on Netflix. You know, there's the fucking people out there. It, it is 
odd to bring out someone who uh, pretended to be gay to pray in a serious war. Actually, he probably was gay, wasn't he? In yeah. theory. It's difficult to tell because there was just so much wrong. Mm. Says, uh, you know when you see a car after an accident and you're trying to work out what car it was? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a bit difficult. Oh yeah, Berlin Wall. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you could just annoy Amos and change it to uh, ZZ's make shit pizza. I think he's. I think he's manager of ZZ's again. Though. We just name ourselves Pizza Express. Sicker Does that mean get to straddle both the lines? Uh, Pizza me. Express is just Tory Pizza Hut. Yeah, but we can also play host to the rich and powerful. That's true. Against and if you're a Pizza strife. Express and work you. <laughs> Go to. Maybe right. it's, uh, he did leave ZZ's and go manage a different one, but I can't remember what it was. I just remember it was the two-for-one cocktails place that all the white women go to or in their forties. Set upon them. Turtle uh, Beach, something like that. There's a smaller Turtle chain. Bay. I'm not sure if they're a chain. I think they are a chain. They, they feel like a chain because they're super I remember. There's one near It was Lassig Wanners. I think that's no, no, it was Lassig Wanners. He went to manage at Lassig Wanners. I've been to Las Iguanas before and the fucking food was awful. <laughs> I think there's a Prezzo in Birmingham. The other fellas yeah, they felt like a chain. Yeah, they felt like they were a chain that was trying to be like, look, we're not a chain. Well, do you live in Birmingham? No. Yes. Then I would have to guess that it's probably a chain, because it's definitely <laughs> what, one in what Birmingham. What a massive coincidence. Birmingham's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, a big place, you know? It's a... <laughs> No, very, very Thank God. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> if you know I don't live in Birmingham, I live in Coventry. Oh, that's very nice. The most bomb city in the World War II. Mm. You're present. about to say most bomb city as I as been. Well, in Bullshit. the UK. <laughs> Belfast. <laughs> is Belfast in the UK? Uh... I think for most bomb city, never mind, like World War Two probably is Coventry, but most bomb city it is Belfast. Join with me. Belfast is in, uh, in Northern Ireland, isn't it? For the forest. Yeah. Yeah, so it is in the UK because you're the reason I have to get a fucking UK yeah, sticker instead of a GP rags. sticker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I find out about that this summer. It's so weird that they don't accept the GP sticker. It, it's odd, isn't it? Like, yeah. I had my GB sticker when I went over in um, March to Germany, and uh, they were just like, yeah, you can't have the GB anymore, you've got to have a UK one. I'm like, why? Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> we've got to be inclusive of Northern Ireland. I'm sure they don't mind. I'm sure they don't <laughs> care. <laughs> can't do nothing about dire structures right now. I'm sure a lot of them have got yeah. GB stickers as well, and they come to the England, and they like having their stickers, and I have to buy a new one too. Yes. Propaganda by big sticker. Mm. Mm. Well, apparently, the AA were really upset because they bought 50,000 new GB stickers to sell. And, uh, the government have, said have they you ever thought about this, right? This, this is quite, like, it's quite a simple experiment. But, like, let's just walk with me here. You know, Koreans. How, how, do you know how Koreans are put up? Did you They're say crayons up, or Koreans? A Korean. Like, you new know, on a construction site. A Korean. Right, okay. Korean. Yeah, Korean. like Fraser Crane. Korean is in the country. Yeah. I heard crayons, Koreans. I, I did hear crayons first. I spent a lot of time <laughs> with Rhino as well. It's odd that I haven't tuned this in. <laughs> so this is cranes. Mm. So to put up a crane, you need another crane. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Funny if you yeah. think it's Koreans. <laughs> you just need to go one step further, and the whole conspiracy is right there. There was like yes. one giant alien crane that kickstarted the technology. And that's why we didn't have skyscrapers for so long. Our teeth. 
I mean, you've before. seen the picture of the people building the first skyscrapers, right? They, they just sort of Still climbed up. The girder at their body. Sitting on the yeah. yeah. That's still how they build them in China. No. But everyone knows that there is a big crane out there somewhere. But I think the real conspiracy is that no one's talking about it. I saw a video of like a like a crane that's probably like twenty stories up, like oh, like collapsing. But how was it put up? Uh, you need a bigger know. crane. Poorly, I would have, I would imagine. <laughs> Thanks, bird. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, scepter. Uh, uh. Mm. You know, I hope Zaraxxus is only. 20 or 30 minutes late because if he's even later oh. <laughs> i hope he's all right yeah grumpy what fucking, fucking mania are you on with cranes this is well, just come through on the street you're obviously <laughs> an agent of big crane yeah <laughs> 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 realize this is being streamed <laughs> yeah cortez has been streaming this whole thing while he plays a bot match <laughs> what <laughs> yep yeah. you're supposed to tell people that you're streaming he did. It's one of the rules. He, he posted it in, in Guta National. Um, yeah, but he's not in the casters area. Well, oh, we haven't God. started the game yet. I've been sitting here slagging Reg off while he plays <laughs> Dota. I'm like, what if Reggie found out that I thought he was terrible at Dota? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My God! <laughs> I just heard the fucking crane shit going through. It's just like, what? What is? What is he on? Because <laughs> I want some. I'm sure the pros do this too. <laughs> I don't think the pros go on about how cranes go up. <laughs> but haven't you watched True Side? There's a big 20 minute segment about this. About cranes? <laughs> about cranes. Oh. They were talking about the bird though. So Not about how bad, bad Reggie is at Dota. <laughs> no, but that was weird. last year's True Side. Oh, right. okay. Sorry. I started talking about cranes in public. And for the next like 10 minutes, I had people following me looking at me. Like I was a, a crazy person. I, it's definitely a thing. Because you are a crazy they person. Painted windows and the the tower. <laughs> it's because you're speaking madness. Your bottom tower, no wretched fool. There's always next time. You know it's true. <laughs> uh, did anyone in your chat on stream remember where Amos works then? I'm, I'm sure it's. it's uh, apparently Notch says Zizzy's Piazza. <laughs> Notch? Oh, there's another one that's bad at fucking Dota. The Radiant you done good. Not with Minecraft fame, because he could be another problematic person we could rename our team after. Oh, trust me, <laughs> Nock, the Nock that they are talking about is not the Notch from uh, Minecraft fame. Yeah. As far as I'm aware, Notch sold his company for several billion dollars, and if you sold a company for several billion dollars, you would not live in Luton. <laughs> you could probably you could become a proper slumlord with that amount of money in Luton. You could buy Luton. <laughs> Cortez, how did you how did you do worse than your average on Ursa in a bot match? I don't have averages. Oh, <laughs> That's why. Like, I'm pretty sure 850 GPM, 1200 XP per. I don't think that's average. That's the gist of it. I don't play enough to have average. <laughs> Wait, now Bean's casting a match? What kind of match is Bean casting? Bean! Oh, there's one at 8.30. Yeah. No, there's one at 8 also. That's And it's, is Bean, got, it's got Bean on yeah. it, yeah. It's all three billionaires versus Wogan's wieners. Oh, Zaraxa says he's less than 10 minutes away. Well, he's got six <laughs> minutes! It was two minutes ago, though. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so hmm. Well the other team aren't even in the in the in the the match thing yet, so Yeah, but they've probably not read that the lobby's up. Yeah, but they're all just yeah, in yeah. the lobby. Well, but then all... if the Raxus gets there at thirty two, but they're not in the lobby yet, they won't know that. I'm pretty sure I gave the password out for the lobby as well whilst the stream was going on. Because I didn't know the streaming. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean they've joined. I don't know, someone could have named themselves the Raxus and jumped in. <laughs> Just replace him secretly. Oh, yeah, we should have done that. Let's go, yeah, steal, go steal his profile picture. Morning, lads. Why have we got Dumblefrog in here now? <laughs> uh, 
I'm just bored. I've got a game in like half an hour. Nothing really to you do. You actually playing a game then. this time, Dumble? Yeah. Oh, is this oh, like yeah. a pre-match interview? All right, cool. No, just everyone's, everyone's coming <laughs> in. It's, you know, everyone's, yeah, no, everyone just, wants, just everyone wants to see a map. No, we've got Bean. Everybody's joining. Hello, Bean. I hear you're a caster now. Yes. Are we all casters now, Bean? I'm not sure I've got time. I was going to say that. Oh my god! Between the farm and the oh, there we go. <laughs> oh look, we've got Zaraxxus! Zaraxxus is in! It's 100% Oh, we've got everyone! Oh, the he's here! Happy day! <laughs> it's, yes, it's been Zaraxxus, I'm what here. If, what, if we just, what if we just said fuck the Gunter National and just had a chat for right now? Hello, it's me, Zaraxxus, daughter player! <laughs> Why is he Italian? That's not Italian. Um, that, was yeah. that was definitely an Italian accent. <laughs> Italian. Yeah. Don't do the uh, I think Yoso would that argue that was Italian. not an Italian accent. I mean, it was a, stereo I mean, it was a stereotype I mean, Italian. I believe it not. I always try to go for vampiric accents because I feel like oh. they're gender neutral, you know, race neutral. You know, anyone can be a vampire these days. It's really. Hating on those Romanians, dude. That's, that's not acceptable. <laughs> what? Fucking hell. Shut up. Why would they be Romanian? They're from Hungary. And they're not from Hungary. They literally around they're Romanian. crypt in Hungary in Budapest. No, 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 no. no. They're Transylvanian. It'd be really odd for him to have a crypt in a country he's not from. It's Transylvanian, I'm pretty sure Transylvania is like Romania. Bulgaria, yeah, Romania now, but it used to be Hungary. Hungary. Oh, it used to, wow. It used to be what? Yeah, but whenever yeah. you get hungry, you just suck a little blood, right? Yes. So who's gonna like you know move? Why I, I call my, I my stomach so things. Oh, sorry, I was just typing in. I was gonna say who's gonna move us to like the casting channel, but it doesn't really matter, does it? You can go in there every time. Oh, we can just... have the world's first twenty-person cast. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a game of Dota? No, I, just... I think we should go into like we should cast from the uh, from the team's channel, though, like that they're in. And then oh, we go back and forth between yeah, the two yeah. channels. You know? In the middle of a fight. I'm here with Zaraxxus. How's it going? Oh, they don't know the enemy team smoked here. Blick's running in, even though his BKB is on cooldown. Oh, that's a good ward. I love a ward placed here. <laughs> oh, that's real nice. Oh, oh they're doing Roche. <laughs> yeah, just, just spam voice lines. We see you in Roche. <laughs> First Roche in 30 minutes into the game. Deploying. Can I use voice lines as a caster? No. I don't think oh. Repositioning. Honk. Repositioning. Oh, an eagle walks right past the invisible. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh. Eagle's about to get ganked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, here with, I'm here with Chrono after missing that line stun. Uh, how do you feel about that? <laughs> I'm here with Chrono after war trapping his carry again. <laughs> Well, Chrono off and ward trapping his entire team out of a team fight. I'm here with Chrono, hyper focusing on every mistake he makes. Chrono, how, how are you right now? I'm very drunk. Well, thank you for the insight. Water is wet. Tactical. Will Zaraxxus make it? He's got two minutes. Smart move. Well, he's, he's put almost home, so I think they will give him, you know. Yeah, no, no, they said 7.30. No, no, half past. It isn't <laughs> They'll do anything to uh, engineer a win. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Oh, no, the other team has turned up in the lobby now. And they're going to know. They're going to know. Oh, uh, Only if the lobby doesn't mysteriously crash. Do you need me to if stand you just in? just very room. slowly go into your teams, then, you know, you can kind of wait it out. Just then maybe we can get 100% Zaraxxus <laughs> back in. A doubt. We'll just swap them at the last minute. Hmm. And also, if you change like the team out while we're doing the coin flip, you know, it crashes, we have to make the lobby again. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what doesn't crash a Dota lobby these days, to be honest, though? Um, good, clean Dota? I haven't seen any of that for years. <laughs> Won't find any of that here, either. Yeah, especially with your round. There, there is many types of Dota found on this Discord. Good, clean Dota is not amongst it. I don't think I've seen good or clean. Team fight E Dota? Not kidding. I might put mm. on uh, money for nothing. There's been overly Team Fighty Dota. Is there a Spanish cover? 
There isn't. I've been looking. There really isn't. <laughs> so just play. Closing in. Mhm. Mm you look. You're, you're lying, B. What? Uh, I used to write. I, I search like maybe nothing cover. Uh, I said there's a really bad medieval yes. covers. Oh, I found one. Yeah, I found the one. Easily. Oh. Huh. I'm guessing you're gonna be setting our game up, Duncan. You saw his Since he typed in the Gunter National chart, we we're okay yeah. with waiting a few more minutes. <laughs> 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 this is great. Do you do you know what he's doing, or is he just not showed? You know, is it like he's just like heading home, isn't he? Oh, he's okay. Out the toilet. The video as well. Yeah. This is amazing. It's not like you know he, he, we we we're all joking about him being late, but he's, he, he, it's not like he's dead or something. So no, no, we, we, about, we, yeah. we he's been known. <laughs> Why? Yeah, yeah, he has it just not dead in there, George. <laughs> What's wrong I don't, with you? I don't know. Like, it's oh, fucking George. <laughs> so yeah, jump it's straight to George. bed. I can assure you, no one is fucking George. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Get, 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 got... asking what's happening. <laughs> it's getting personal. Guys. Guys. <laughs> George? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. We fucking killed him. He's <laughs> croaking. <laughs> Uh, the irony, laughing at another man's dead and then dying himself. Oh, a terrible video. An orchestral version of Money for Nothing. So bad. <laughs> can, can you find a MIDI version? Oh, it's so shit. They're like, so there's like a normal guitar, which sounds like the original. And you've got like flutes and violins just like scratching over the top. They're really poor. Ugh. Oh no, no, look, Eric, you just go have a magical evening with your family. I have sorted this by absolutely causing catastrophe, nearly killing the Dota server, and then arranging for some reason a 15 man cast. Dota <laughs> server? Yeah. You can't ask for anything more for the goons. Everything is going fine. It's perfecto. Did you ask for a 15 man cast, or did it just sort of happen? It's just, uh, it always just sort of happened. It's naturally. organic, you know? Yeah. Why ruin the match? Oh, oh no, see, Zaraxis, that's a great excuse. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they cannot really possibly argue strengths. against that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they can't possibly ask for an auto win now. <laughs> You're gonna bully uh, the disabled. The chances one. of the other team not looking well, like their cats now is, is gone. I mean, we we pick the match, or we don't. The respect to Mas. I like to think he's got like. A racing wheelchair or something. I don't know, like what what this special gaming wheelchair chair. you've got to swap with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. gaming wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be fair, people do have indoor and outdoor chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I like to think it's, it's yeah, a razor like, sponge. Like, 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 well, no, it's, it's one of the, You think it's one of those like um, Paralympian racing chairs with like the slanted wheels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I assume the major difference is just like the wheel type, like 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 racing bikes versus like off road bikes. Yeah, no. Actually, what he's done is he's um, he's shot a petrol engine like a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe he's got like some yeah. hydraulics as well. At getting a, uh, and one that goes upstairs, but I don't think he managed to get it because you know American healthcare. He's got one of them pimpin wheelchairs. You know the ones when you drive past, it goes really low and that like it bumps up. It's got hydraulics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has he got like a neon underneath as well? RG, RGB wheelchair. <laughs> no, it's pretty cool. There was one that literally climbed upstairs and stuff. But you know, American healthcare. This five thousand wheelchair will cost you seventy million dollars. Yeah, we can give you one with a gun department, but it's all going to cost like five hundred. The gun comes free. <laughs> Why would you give away guns for wheelchair? Because it's America. Just bring the wheelchair to be able to shoot out. Of the out of the world. Yeah, why would you not expect this? Market, it as, a, market it as a gun, then you, you can buy it in a back alley frost. for $200. <laughs> Look, if I know America, and I know America quite well, that wheelchair either fishes or shoots. One of the <laughs> or two. Or both. <laughs> or both. No, oh, no, that would make it a really good wheelchair. Yeah, that's why it's even more expensive. I think Zaraxxus really does go fishing, cool. so I imagine the wheelchair fishes. 
to the Vanguard. Oh no, Eri's got just the man to replace the plus one. Oops, just oh. for man, Eri. Oh no. <laughs> well, what are you gonna had, do with these poor lads? I had a sub lined up for uh, Scipio's helm and droids. Because oh. I understand Stobby has grievously wounded himself. Oh. But Stobby says he's playing. Yeah, off. he threw his back. Oh, uh, rough. So, and as a matter of fact, he's, the man, he, my substitute is in this very channel as we speak. What? Oh, well, I wasn't going to, but... Why are you speaking in riddles? Just... <laughs> it's Reg. Reg is so, playing for having... Mark Wahlberg. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why uh, you shouldn't speak in riddles. Just like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, One job. So, so when I sent Reg a message this afternoon saying, are you subbing in for someone tonight? Oh. He said, no, yeah, I ain't. Stubby. Is this, is this a reason? Yeah, but this was before I asked you to sub in for Stobby. I opened the conversation oh, by saying, are you subbing in for Reg. someone? And you said no. No, I, I wasn't subbing in for somebody, but then Stobby showed up if at the last moment. And then, then he got reversed. The other yeah. team asked for help. Right, okay. So I got still reversed. need someone for... Uh, still need someone to uh, have uh, his joins then. Uh, uh, Flute is available. Flute. Flute. Yeah, Flute uh, is. I mean, they, they need a sub for their carry who is their best player. Flute. Yeah, and, uh, well... Uh, you, wait, and you were going to replace uh, come on, Eri, just ask me. Just ask me, Eri. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't think Stezzy Shitters is going to be a, a good matchup for them, but I want to give them some kind of chance. I know, I know. Uh, just, just ask Eri. Who, who's on Stezzy Shitters? Let's just evaluate the team. Yeah. Stezzy Shitters is... Stezzy Chorus. Stesichorus, uh, Alex Bizgood, Captain Grimstroke, Action Dan, Mr. Scruff, and Coop. No, they're kind like, of like, absolutely clean here. They're currently joint second in the group. Oh, okay. Everyone is joint second in the group right now. Oh, Alex shit. Is, uh, played the Luke, trick. how were how our games? How was our team's games the other day? It was yes. it was really good without you, Double Frog. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it didn't yeah. feel like zero deaths until like series they, four. Um, your, your team is now third in the group because you won. Oh, nice. They were very I mean, unfortunately yeah. replaced you with a competent Dota player. <laughs> the two the two series that we've won are the ones where I haven't been available. <laughs> yeah, the one series I played, we lost. So uh, depending on how today goes, I might just have to leave the team. <laughs> I'm only a parent of Sam Older. <laughs> But sometimes you just got to have these hard conversations with your team, right? Mm. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad he suggested that we kick him before. Yeah, yeah before you had suggest it, George. So, yeah. Well, I know we did discuss it, but you know, yeah, I yeah, think... I know we did, but I was, you know. I will ask. <clears throat> I'll ask Hellboy and see if he's around. Oh no! Come uh, on, I'm right here, Ari. He's on holiday, right? Did yeah, I th yeah. I mean, oh, you could fuck, ask uh, Epic Doom or he, has he fled to Portugal again? It, I mean, I'm, I'll play with a handicap if you can think of a suitable handicap. Uh, one hand. One hand. Mouth, so. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, uh, can I, I remove your hands from the wrist? Is down. librarian around? Maybe. You have to click random and then Without play that a as a carry, no matter what. Yeah, but librarian can't play because he's too good for the inhalers. <laughs> Self described. I mean, if if any, the team that needs standards, can you not just like? Anyone in that team can at everyone that's on the standing list and say hello. You know? I like, mean, you think so. The, 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 the actual, the actual standing list, there's like three people who actually turn up and are willing to sub, and everyone else just says, oh yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm not available for the next three weeks. Oh. Like, All right, well, I don't know why you signed up. As a I, I did message like four people on that list, and I'm like, I don't know why I'm still on that list. I'm not meant to be there. Oh, that's strange. Well, no one's ever said that they want to be taken off the standing list. Super did. Did he? Yep. Oh. Cortez, Yosu is asking if you're gonna enter the lobby or not. Yeah. Okay. Yep, so Zaraxxus is just booting up Dota 2, he's got the lobby password, he's gonna log in, and we're yeah. gonna have a game. Let's see you Fair in enough. Dota. Okay. Now, which is this? Is this Mark Warper again? Yeah. So, you, is this game 2 then? Yeah. None of us are actually in the team Mark Warburg though. So. <laughs> Why is that a thing? What? Because, because Amos is Amos a never Amos invited them. Fucking hell. Fuck's sake, Amos. What is yours? What is yours? Oh, yours is the Castro Box. Amos is the Guthers of Dota. <laughs> Fucking Amos! <laughs> and what is Guthers the Guthers of? Hello. Rust. 
Thanks for waiting. We're waiting for rest up. We're still playing. I killed it off in one uh, evening. My god. Go. It's like the Jekyll and Hyde. Mm. He was the real Guffers, you know. So, Zoraxis, can Jeffrey. you can you confirm or deny that you've got an outdoor wheelchair that's got a lawnmower engine tied to it? Yeah, we need yeah, to know. Definitely do. Okay, it's, oh, it's got no, a leg attached with a gun on it as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it transforms. Legs. <laughs> Transform, it turns into like a Gundam. <laughs> so, is is anyone from Skippo's in in here? Because it's yeah, it's book. me. Skippers. Right, uh, Isn't that what you call the uh, the travellers in your garden? Whoa! Are we back to the tomb then? Oh, I mean, he said it. Oh, I didn't say that. I said I was angry that they were shitting in my bushes next to my house when the Coventry Council should just build a place for them to go to and not have a, a disused quarry oh, at so the end some, of some a kind of camp level. to concentrate yes. them in. <laughs> Stop being yeah, weird. A very nice place. Stop being Maybe weird. Just kill yourself. Yeah. Should, should we move to our channels? At Commons yeah, County maybe. Council, do something with my yeah, money, sure. please. Anything, <laughs> please. Could even just fix the roads. Maybe. Why would right, they well, spend money on new peasants? Are the roads are bad around Coventry? I think they are. They're pretty bad. Yeah. Just go around. Into just go around. Draw a giant penis. I've never driven into the centre. I've driven around. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. That's like know. that's like the guaranteed way to get them to fix pops. You just draw a giant dick around every pothole. It, it legitimately works. They go out there and they fix them. I mean, technically, if you want to get them fixed, you should dig them deeper because that's how they now <laughs> because they categorize them right. So if there's a particular like. If it's like a two-inch pothole and it's reported as a two-inch pothole, they won't fix it. But if right, you just said, dig hey, a, I'm going to start the pick. Dig a big hole. priority requires that two teams are set. Yeah, the they need to set a team, don't they? If you dig a, a whole pit, they just get them to set yeah. a random team. It's a six-foot grave. <laughs> yeah, 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 just dig a really fucking big hole, and then the council definitely have to come fix it. That's how it works. It sounds like genius. Yes, it always works. But it also sounds like a hell of a lot of work. Just fill it with concrete. Yeah, it probably would be easier for you to fill it in at that point, but you know. Right, he lives. Okay, now don't change team or it will fuck up. Fuck up. Oh. Alright, whatever. The Italian version. What does the fuck up? <laughs> right, there we go. We're doing a coin and flip. The helmet enjoyers get their pick. Very cool. They go first. Or so. They go on first pick, and mm. now the other team have to pick Radiant or Dyer. They pick Dyer. Skyfear's helm seems like a pretty decent team. Good to go. Everyone, good to go. Are you solid. Some, some sweaty yeah. players on that team. That's just that's really yeah. cool. a bit tilty though. Mm. Yeah, to be fair. There we go, we're in. Radiance ban. That game I saw. Uh, I think I did the game where they were playing Dyer for nothing. Ban. Uh, Radiance ban. Easy 2-0 that one. Nutkin, response? Uh, Nutkin. Um, for ban. what? We're bad at Dota. It's, it's fun. Fair enough. Radiance pick. I think um, um we, we haven't lost two two games yet. We we've only we've drawn two and um, one. Pick. No wait, did we draw? You've won two and you've drawn two. Don yeah. gets three. Yeah. Yeah. You're currently first by virtue of having played most games in the group, uh, on the top of the group. You're first. Well, if um all we need is for Reggie to win a game for them tonight. Ten and then we stay to top. But if they uh if the helmet enjoyers go through on both. Five um, seconds. I Unfortunately, this is a Helm Joys 2 0. I, I didn't watch the first game, but I'm going to assume that it wasn't close. I could be wrong. What, in this tonight? Yeah. Yeah, you'd be right because. How out of this game. are you, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> you'd be right in the fact that there was no game one. 
<laughs> yeah, there's no not been a I'm game one just... yet. What time is it? It's they started late. Oh, okay. So basically, Xerxes had uh, had an issue turn up, so he was going to be late. Um, they've already lost Amos, and Yoso's team thought it would be unfair for them to have two stand-ins. Okay. Especially as the stand-ins for Amos and Xerxes was going to be Flute and Reggie. They thought that was a bit oh, too uh, lopsided. Mm. Both supports picked. But then Xerxes said he was only 20 to 30 minutes away. So Yoso said um, they're willing to wait till 7.30, hard stop 7.30, and they forfeit the first game, and they'll wait and play the second game when Xerxes turns up. I think we're probably in the situation now where this is the first game, and hopefully they agree to play the second afterwards. I think they will. I, I, I mean, it depends I'm happy to do this listen out. I'm happy to listen and, and work it out whatever way it falls at the end, because if Radiant they've decided player. that they don't have time to play the second game... Yeah. If, if society yeah. livers win, I assume they're going to be salty and tilted and just you know, insist that they should get the first win. Is my prediction. If, if society livers win, then I think Skype goes hell. Yeah, I, society, I, I think if they win the first the match, then um, the then yeah. Yoso might want to play the second. I don't know. I, I, I'd like to think there's some good sportsmanship so everyone will be flexible to the best outcome to play two matches. Uh, I mean, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't call their their free win at half past. So no, they yeah. were willing to be flexible. Ten because... seconds to go. Yeah. I, I don't know. I like to think when a guy says, "I'll be on in two minutes," I've just got to change wheelchair. You, you apply a little yeah. bit more leniency <laughs> to it, right? What do we yeah. What do we think of the picks so far? It's like, yeah, B five minutes. Got to swap over my mum's oxygen tanks. So far, yeah. Scipio's pretty flexible right now because anything. So can the Dawnbreaker. Oh, where's Knock? Knock, I need you. Knock. Team's just banning out carries. Why do you need Knock? Who's our, going on? Who's our sub for tonight? Do we, oh, do we need a sub? It's fine, I think it's... it's, it's... Not no, wow, Griff is, like Griff is apparently. Knock says, Knock says in the... Uh, <laughs> no, not Guthers, we've lost. Uh, unfortunately, Guthers is banned for this tournament. Oh, uh, <laughs> Shall I shall I move you all up into a Gaza channel, in the interest of consistency? Oh. I cast for the next thirteen minutes. Yeah, <laughs> but, I mean, I'll put it this way: unless told otherwise, I'm going to move everyone in this channel up to Gunti I Carter's desk one. Well, ask Cortez. So Cortez is casting. Cortez, who do you want to join? Uh, fuck it, fight over it. <laughs> Radiance. Uh, fight over it. Um, out of out of these losers. Wow. Uh, I'll take Nutkin and Soup. Just Cortez. Soup, Soup and I got good chemistry in that previous game. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, both teams banning out three carries in second phase. Seconds not that many left. I will be done, my kingdom come. I'd be tempted to maybe... Who would I Zary? pick? Hello, buddy. Hello. Well, I was hoping to stick around in there. At least until the end of the draft, and then I was going to move up myself, but... Yeah, it does make it a bit trickier, because obviously I'm not in the lobby, so I'm going off your perspective right. on Steam. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Well, now Nuckin's here too, so... Ten seconds to go. I am totally cool with remanning this. I just don't really want to do Five it solo. Seconds. No, that's cool, that's cool. Too much, too much dead air, I learned from the first time around. The first, the first series I did, I had to do alone, because it was a replay. Uh, it just felt awkward. Like, I I talk for like thirty straight seconds during a team fight, and then everybody's dead, and I just can't be like, all right, well, there was a team fight. <laughs> <laughs> just go over the recap, and oh, this guy did a lot of damage. This this guy didn't use BKB. This guy doesn't even have BKB. Here's the question: Will this rich doctor get level six before the twenty one minute mark? Yes. Because it, it was very close the last time uh, Society Livers or Mark Wahlberg's team actually played. Diary. Where their Witch Doctor. I think it took them 22 minutes to get level 6 on their Witch Doctor. Alright, well, that, that solidifies, I'd say this is a mid Zeus. Yes. Would it be, would it be a Reb on Diary Witch Doctor? Because then you might have a chance. No level six. We've got a Viper and Undyne. They aren't even the Eagle carry to the last. There's no, there's no Agi on their team though. 
No, not at the moment. So damage is going to be. I know Zeus can, can throw down, go. but and Dawnbreakers. They're they're kind of five seconds. They're kind of cheesing the damage at the moment, aren't they? There's no like smack him in the face damage. Uh, yeah, they could they... go. They could go for like a CK here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They don't have a lot of. Yeah, if, um, they don't have a lot of lockdown for him though. Like he really. They don't so... have a lot of eagle. Oh, they're faceless, faceless. Yeah, void, pool. void's still in the pool. I was about to say. Void would be uh good for this. You've got gauze. You've got thunder gods. Uh, I, yeah, this is I'm a really. Which doctor old would be great. It's this a great is a void this game. is a really good void game. Yeah, I would definitely ban it if I was society livers. So whilst the void, yes, they have a lot of damage going into it. They've already got a pre-counter on Wolberg with the Venge to just instantly swap out. So I was a bit curious as to the Witch Doctor pick because you've Dyer's already got pick. that. Oh, they um, did it. They banned the Void. Dyer's pick. And it will be Slark. Slark. Okay. Mm. Comes comes with his own little bit of lockdown, but only on one target. Yeah. yeah but but you've got, the actual Slark is strong. Yeah, you've got Global Thunder Gods, you've got Global Dawnbreaker ult, if you need help finishing off, Ten seconds like a Viper. Yeah. Okay, it's it's not bad, he can purge. Five seconds. There's a lot of things he can purge, actually. Get out of the root. You can purge Viper, uh, Viper ult, right? Mm -hmm. I believe so. Yep. Don't quote me on it, though. Viper cannot do be dispelled. Do not play a lot of slug. I think I've played one game of Slark and Zoe beat the crap out of me. So you can't purge you can't purge Viper Strike, but you can purge the Q. You got Frostbite and Nova you can get off, so yeah, no, I like it. Yeah. They've got a lot of team play versus I don't know, a lot of dodge, I think, on the society levels. With the Underlord Alts, if the Underlord Alts go well. It could be it could be a fun game. Fun game to watch. Yeah, I expect. I I think after fifteen minutes and fifteen minutes, uh, Scipio's just gonna just roam the whole game. Send Slark, mm. Slark one support, just around the map, find the carry. I think and it's a very it's a very static carry. Okay. Ooh, not got much not to do like with that into a Slark. That. Because realistically, your Juicer, yes, she can 1v5 a whole team, but your Zeus isn't going to be anywhere near her to start with. You're going to take be somewhere quite You're going to take back. 45 minutes to, to five man the whole team, in which case Slark's probably already run you over. Yeah, he's already taken every single one of your stats. Ego could go back for a defusal too this game. Could, can we? Hmm. I, think I have to believe in society livers because if they uh, if they can win one of these games, it puts us top of the league. And that's the only mm. reason. Sir, we only have unbiased casts in here. Uh, I am heavily <laughs> biased, unfortunately. <laughs> heavily. Do Tessie's not have a chance to take top up later on? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, but you know, life's good at the top. Like that would be, it'll be joint and also, Stessies. Dr. Jonas will attack us all. He's very forceful with his uh, coaching. Eleven victories in a row for Eagle. Hmm. He's feeling better as well. He's recently had COVID, so. Everybody gets Ah, oh, I never thought I would be casting since I'm terrible at it. But I can now make use of my list of people's favorite frozen treats and interesting facts. Uh, Cortez, just you know, you've got the waiting on standings overlay up still. Uh, yes, thank you. Alrighty, well, here we are for game one and a half, maybe, of uh, Scipios versus not Mark Wahlberg. Hey, the first game of the night. <laughs> the first game of the night, that's for sure.
They're gonna, they're gonna wrap on Heretic here, but the rest of the team is here also. The Tady already blows his, uh, his W. Alright, well, it looks like they'll just bully them out of the first, the, the top two rune spots. Yeah, we'll about to probably turn on them now, because with them all grouped up and Mystic Snake taken early, that's a hell of a lot of damage they can output. They're hiding behind the trees, so it's uh, sneaky. See if they come back, but no one's in the area. Uh, they can uh, take it in two runes each. That's, yep. That'd do right. He's going to have to oh. burn his TP. To what are they doing out. top? Are they, they waiting? They're staying. Very interesting. Heretic walks up. Oh, no. <laughs> but Eagle, Eagle with his back turned, Heretic instantly runs away. That is a Grandpa Simpson nope. <laughs> yep. Eagle gets back to his lane on time and of our standard set. This is Dawnbreaker snap. Very far forward. I don't expect the Medusa to have a very good time in this lane at all. Uh, both off laners here should have virtually free farm. Reggie pounding eagle on the bottom. Arab went for level one maledict. Did I get the first blood there? Oh, Stobby getting chased with a full creep wave and heretic. No mana for Nova. <laughs> he didn't take a mango. One more right click will do it. Nice. Stobby's away. Mid lane. Five and zero for Yoso. <laughs> Yeah, Zarax is doing. He's doing the right thing though, like making Yoso Send have to commit Yoso arc. Right yeah, there. have to commit arc lightning to get last hits in this lane. Yep. No. That's a bit of an interesting build Yoso did for the uh, start of the game, because normally you want to try and rush that bottle as soon as possible, but like, don't commit all your gold at the start. But it looks like he did. He's got quite a lot of regen and stats there. Got a bunch of mangoes, but still only 25 gold off the bottle. Won't have it for the two minute runes, but it's not a big deal. Mongo Maledict down bottom. It's blood up top. Say hello to my boomstick. While Eagle got uh, stunned by the Venge, so he couldn't follow up on the Mongo Maledict with a pounce. It's worth noting anyone that does watch this back on stream or on the VOD, let's say, oh, will only actually hear. On. Actually, no, VOD will hear both of us. All three Down of bot, us. I think Eagle. Eagle not hear anyone. Sorry to cut you off, but bounces away. Herb also 1 HP. Goes down oh. to the right click of Retro. Looking for the double. Eagle tries to stick around. <laughs> oh, can't take to tower shots. One for one in the bot lane. Oh, he's having a hard time here. I'm uh, not sure if I'm I agree. Not sure how with... that puts them. Not sure if I agree with Max and corrosive skin. If you're Braxis here. Yeah, he's gonna get shocked by the Zeus though. Is it? Is it gonna? get the Zeus damage every time he uh, catches him in the Arc Lightning. It will, but I think you I think you man up and you max poison attack in this lane. Right now. You got the one point in Corrosive for the slow. I think you're only getting 15% extra magic resist for three more levels, so we'll see what he takes at level five. I'm interested. We'll get it right here. I don't think I would have point. taken Nether Toxin. I think I would 1-3-1-3 one, three, one, three all the way. Oh, he's 2-1-2. Two, two. Okay, my man. More of a killing build, so if he wants to try and bully Yoso out, it's the only way he's going to yeah. do it. Uh, 
Top lane. Oh, Stabi, just turn around. You've got a free courier. You'll see it. Somebody iced. Yeah, they got, like, oh, they got the wood, so they see it anyway. It's a classic Stobby movement. He loves yep. his courier sniping. It's getting a good pull off now. Denied. Half pull, that's, that's nice. Camp stack too. Oh, that'll be good for a number of pulls. Mm. Yeah, so just edging Xeraxis on the uh, last hits and the uh, XP. He's got six now as well, but he hasn't got enough mana. Meanwhile, down bot, Eagle lands the pounce. Stunned by Retro to hold him back, but he dark packs it off. Chasing him down with the Malatech. He doesn't commit. No, that's not going to be enough. Retro Frog will sell. Slap in Arab. I think if he, I think if he right clicked him one more time, tank one or two tower shots. I think that's a kill. You'd have to worry about the counter kill though. Tank too many tower shots, then uh, Underlord's just going to murder you. And that trade will always favor Reg. Speaking of which, now they go on Underlord, but Eagle. <laughs> Oh no, Reggie and might... now they'll kill a rev as well. Oh. Double kill for Reg. And he will survive the Maledict. Where's Zeus ult? <laughs> He's pinging him. Oh, he hasn't got the mana, he hasn't got the mana. He's got bottle he charges, full bottle. he hasn't got the mana. Which he used while still taking poison damage, which is a little bit sus. Reggie, you gotta go eat a tree, mate. Go eat a tree, Reggie. <laughs> He's going back for one of the tasty trees, maybe. Maybe he doesn't know that Zeus is six. Maybe it's not being communicated. I suppose this sort of actually benefits because while Zeraxxus is sort of keeping Yosa out of the lane and trying to make, force him to use the Arc Lightning, it's always making sure he can't then cast Thunder God's Wrath. He's got to sacrifice either CS yeah, or a yeah, definitely, kill. Definitely, definitely. However, Yosa is 10 last hits ahead. He's still getting the last hits. That's what I mean, in exchange, he's not got the mana there to get the kill on Reggie that he could have got. Hmm. The only thing is, he did have the mana if he just used his bolt once. <laughs> <laughs> he could have done it. Down bot, Eagle might be in trouble again, but the Dawnbreaker all to save. Oh, they're Here gonna the get deals. Reggie. Reggie's dead. Maybe Potato whiffs the stun. This should be a kill on the Dawnbreaker. Retro, don't walk Very away! Nice. There you go. Zaraxxus on the rotate, he's got ult. Just giving him the clip. I think Arab well, is down. Arab dies to the magic missile. Right. They can get Eagle here as well, if they really want to. If, if he, he sticks around. Retro's he's, got swap. He's not six yet. Oh, he, he's oh, he went swap. for it. Yeah, he went for yeah. it. Yeah. Just, just out of range. That was close. Swap 800 range, level one. Just out of reach. You saw it charge up though, didn't you? Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Close. Well, we have a casual feed up top. That's what happened there. Hey, um, surprisingly good start. Eagle still not right. six. Oh, yeah. That's the pounce out. There's the oh, swap. He's got the swap off. Dark Pact will buy the space. Stubby's come down. Stubby's come down. Oh, really riding Eagle, this no fine regen line either. Here. He's just, he's dying for that level 6 right now for the regen. We'll get it on this oh. wave. Oh, but Reg says no, sir. We'll still be on the edge of XP range because the creeps are in tower range. Oh, why are you pouncing away, Eagle? You need these creeps. I think he's potentially about to swap there or stuff. Meanwhile, Cookie on a retro with the maledict damage. Fairy fires, that might be enough to save his life. I think so. Yeah, yeah. 50 HP. Retro's doing very well at his management here. He's. So he knows he's just how very much lucky or very much calculating it. Oh, it goes down again. Which well. means bottom lane dynamic just completely changes. Top lane, 80 potato. Chasing down Heretic. Does he have mana for the stun? He doesn't have stun for three seconds. The fuck off Frostbite and it's the end of that. Zaraxxus, just... Zaraxxus. Uh, I think you, you 
just ult the Zeus. Either force them out of lane or get a kill. The dire might want to mine the top. It's only got mana to fight you or TP. You can't do both. Hmm. Dive down bot, but they back up. Eagle's still not six. That's, oh, there he is. There it goes. <laughs> now Eagle's life gets a lot easier. I think four charges on the wand, though. Let's get a, let's get a wand check. Yo, so no. Matey Potato, yes. Stobby, yes. Meanwhile. Eagle trying to use his newfound power. Dawnbreaker just misses the stun. Retro runs out of range, but the Zeus ult to finish it. And now they turn on to Reg. Rex is coming in with a haste ring. Eagle? Eagle? Ult's potato. Uh, just... Eagle's just abandoned. Eagle's just abandoned. Oh. He burned his ult already. Howard! Howard! <laughs> yeah, you definitely stay in. You get the Agi stack on the Underlord, and then you, yep. you pounce away. Absolute cowardice from Eagle. He's not had a great start, so maybe he's not feeling too. Oh, mid lane. Too bold. Reg with the rift onto onto Zeus. He misses the pit though. But there's three here, three heroes on each team. The Bongo double maledict. Arep doesn't have ult though, but the cookie for the stun. Stabi just dies. Zaraxxus will die as well. Heretic just. Okay, one spell was used. All right, a two for one in the mid lane. But uh, definitely Scipio getting out of that. On the positive yeah, side, Zeus now, lives. And they're now a K ahead. Yep, Zeus survives. The enemy mid dies. I definitely took that trade. Zeus continues to get further ahead of Zerax. Is now 60 last hits to 36 on Viper. Speaking of last hits, Grumpy making stacks. Yeah, all this fighting Medusa has just been farming away, obviously. Dawn's just been rotating, which is just favoring and juice all together. Mady Patini takes the big creeps out of the what's left and runs away. Very good awareness. Do they have a ward up here? I don't think they did. Just good knowledge on Mady Patini to walk up into the jungle. Realize, oh, Grumpy's not in the lane. He's definitely taking stacks. Switch to net worth. It's Zeus and Dawn on top. Followed by the Dusa. 1k ahead of the Slark. Dusa is top on last hits at the moment. Uh, it was Zeus and so right there. Regeneration. Top lane, Stabby clips himself with the cookie jump. Now gives out the gauze. Grumpy on the retreat. He pig poles away out of mana for mana shield, but treat under his tower. But they get the that two last supports. snake onto, uh, onto the Dawnbreaker saved his life there. Down bot, Eagle trying to man up against Reg, 1v1. Reg is just going to take the, the Dark Rift away. He might look to come back here if Heretic goes in with him. Support's leaving. I give support to Grumpy up top. No mana, this, this Dusa will fall over if somebody walks up to her. Swap? Swap? There it is. Oh, Grumpy no. sticks around too long, but he gets rooted as he goes for the Starbreaker. So he doesn't catch the Dusa, the Dusa dies anyway, and now Reg is here, but no catch outside of the pit. It's unfortunate the kill goes onto the Witch Doctor. And then he went to the ghost. Hmm. Eagle, like I said, working on that defusal. Guess About a thousand gold away. You should get this tier one for free. It's interesting how Goon Games, it's always the offlane towers tends to go first. Up lane, Mongo Maledict. 
And that's a dead reg. Radiance mid towers coming apart. Radiance mid towers. Zeus pretty low on mana, otherwise I'd be looking to invade the jungle here with three heroes, but with them, with no mana on Zeus, he's got no damage. Meanwhile, mid lane. Eagle with the pounce on his Araxis. The Dawnbreaker stun will catch into the Starbreaker. That's a double kill for the Dawnbreaker. You see how easy it is for me to stop you? Edge almost has Atos finish. Thank goodness he's not rushing Greaves. They, they need catch so bad. This was oh, yeah, like a first to, pick, uh, wasn't it? It was. It was a phase one pick. And then we had the counter pick of CM and Venge, was it? Yeah. Trouble brewing. I, I believe Dawn was the first overall pick, right? I think so. I feel like Venge and CM, whilst... Mid lane, yes, Dawnbreaker a little too far forward. And he got clicked down by Viper, trying to get a kill on a Retro Frog before he goes down himself. Swaps himself away to save himself. Reg, uh, I don't know about this rift, buddy. Your team was not there, but now the Stone Gaze. Zeus heavenly jumps away. Areb hiding in the trees. Grumpy didn't see him. Picks up a haste rune. He's going to go back top. He's fine. Eagle. Fine to not show up. 100 gold off Defusal Blade. It just feels like this. These supports, they're not going to survive at all against a Dawnbreaker. Also, you, they haven't really got anything to stop a Dawn getting on top of you. Even with the Atos, Dawn's just going to be miles away and just leaps in out of nowhere on your back line. And Dawn will literally murder CM and Venge in seconds. So I'm not sure what the idea was behind those two picks. Um, Shard now coming out for the Dawnbreaker. She's really farmed, actually. Echo phase shard, 17 minutes. Getting the way for her team and net worth. Say a lot of the time it's just comfort pick, isn't it? Which comfort pick fits better? Radiant's bottom tower's done for. What they are doing? I think maybe Jakir might have been a bit better for them here. That wasn't banned. Eagle trying to man up against Reg. Eats the Zeus salt. Yeah, Tady here. Out. Nope, too late. Once the Dawnbreaker committed all, he was dead. No, no Dark Rift for Beanscape for ten. Uh, as soon as Storm and Eagle just goes on you there, you have to get out. You got a TP or Beanscape away because you know you got that possible rotation from the Dawn. The and TP was actually on cooldown as well. He had no way to get out. ETP delay. Heretic's I think. going glimmer. Retrofrog's going ether. No one's going full stuff for this to get the uh, escape. Dyer just couldn't save that bottom tower. Guess what's happening to Dyer's bottom tower? Gonna invade here. Eagle should know they have vision here. I think because of the, the passive smoke breaks on Dawnbreaker. They burn the Medusa ult, so they can definitely re-engage here. Mm. Sentry. Stabby to get that deal. They'll look to take me into tier 1 instead. Yato's now done on Reg. Eats a couple of waves of Firestorm. Tier 1's still up. It's not in deny range yet. Zeus. I'm just gonna say uh, a Lotus Salt would be good here. And Reggie's building onto that. So. Yeah, Reggie's building onto that. Four heroes chilling in the mid lane with no smoke.
but looking to get aggressive again on Reg. Hits him with the defusal, the Dawn ult to follow. Zeus salt on top. Reg down again. But in the mid lane, which Dr. Ult committed for a venge kill. Raxus with a DD, I would, would try to get aggressive here. They're kind of low. You've got a Zeus and a, a Witch Doctor, both very squishy. So Raxus, turn. Oh my goodness. He didn't have Q on toggled on at first. I, the I, think he, I think he hit him once or twice without uh, the poison slow. Unfortunately, he does have to be careful here. He is a bit low. You know, with all the changes over the years, I think orb walking is a, is a lost art. I still do that a ton. The cookie on the creep to catch Zaraxxus, now leashed by Eagle. Oh, they stuck around too long. Can uh, we get a mana shield check? This producer dropped very quickly there. Just wondering if it was actually on. Uh, doesn't look like mana it. Mana shield does she not had, look like it's on. <laughs> she oh. had 800 mana when she died. Eagle saying, no, I'm going to kill you instead. Actually, <laughs> has, to, has to run away the CM ult enough. Sabi, uh, Heretic just full full channeling to make sure he, he survives. Radiant's bottom tower seen better days. It's, it's five mid versus uh, what three mid? Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right now. Your two really didn't take any damage there. I'll give it the walk away. What's Deusa doing? Hunting bounties. Going for a hurricane pike. Oh, look at it go! Bongo doesn't connect. Just one stun on the reg. Stabby, no, no ult for 30 Oof. seconds. Definitely want to wait. Go well, back to farming bot. But anyway, it's due to Eagle. He does get good farm. <laughs> He's very good at farming jungle when he needs to. He knows when he needs to show up. He knows, he knows there's some downtime right now. Oh, but he catches the Medusa. Donald on top of it with the shard. Starbreaker doesn't care about the pit. Mana shield is on. Medusa gets swapped about 400 feet by the by the retro frog, and it's enough. Oh, Grumpy, don't stick around. No, can't. You have no mana. Go home and heal. Tro lives. Medusa building a hurricane pike. So that's three ults committed on Radiant. If you're dire, I think you go now. Get Medusa healed up. No stone gaze, but you've got you've got Fiend's Gate, you've got Viper ult, you've got CM ult. I think you need to take a fight. Only ult on Radiant right now is the Snapfire. Has a completed spirit vessel. Mm -hmm. Rooted the uh, eagle. This is a way they're looking for it. They want they want to take a fight, but. Dyer's mid tower could use a little I don't think Eagle is the one you go on because he'll, he'll yeah he'll he'll you'll telegraph the Atos right and then you'll you'll dark packed off the Atos and then the uh, the pit will miss. You need to catch the Dawn or the Zeus and then you can take a fight. A uh, fun fact about Storming Eagle is he's not left-handed. Took me a while to actually work out what that meant. I don't know what it means either. Apparently, it's a fun fact. Burn! Also, favorite frozen dessert? Ice cream. Flavor, though. He is not said. What's your favorite? Maybe he's just an avid fan of all ice cream. I mean, I, I could list the flavors I don't like on one hand, realistically. 
Neapolitan man. Yeah, Neapolitan's good. If I had to pick a favorite, uh, I'd probably pick mint chocolate chip. Or cookie dough. Meanwhile, Eddie Potato in with the stun. It's just a lot of damage going out, a lot of screen clutter. You wonder how Dota got to this point. Sarax is trying okay. to trying to man up against Mady Potato, but uh, Starbreaker misses. He's got he's got full mana, but he's not going to be able to survive the right clicks. Double kill for Mady Potato. It's a four for one. Now an 8k lead for Scipio at 25 minutes. Take the top shrine. We'll say our very own Venge Retrofog did list mint chocolate chip as his favorite frozen dessert tree. Hey. It's a good guy. You see, the damage yeah, for that fight was somewhat even. Only Radiant only did 1200 more damage, but all the damage on Dire was on Viper. While Zeus, Dawn, Snapfire are all doing about a third of the damage each. The Dyer couldn't hang on to that mid tower. New if Scipio wins this the next 10 minutes, we might get our, our game too. Grumpy. It's found in the Radiant Jungle. Diffusaled up. Oh, no. Four staffs away. The Nimbus misses. He's got no mana. He's got no mana. Up, and but he's got is, no mana. This is definitely a dead Medusa. Damn. And... You cannot get caught. You cannot be farming Radiant Jungle while they're showing mid. It's just the wrong side of the map. All of their vision is in that top jungle. You can't go that far into the darkness. He figured, oh, they just took a fight on our top shrine, so mm. this should be safe, but Slark is very quick. Shadow mm. Dance, he's, he's moving at 470 when he's not in, he's not in dire vision. They'll get the shrine back, and Reg will push out the top wave. Has the Nether Shawl sitting in stash, uh, and is now going. F he's still trying to finish the Lotus. Now Scipio, five-man bot, looking to invade the triangle, looking for Grum. Uh, actually, not looking for Grumpy because he's still dead. Bottom tower. But they just will. That last hit too, aren't they? they will take the ancient stack as well. Get some vision up, secure the tower, stop pressuring. The dire best do something about that bottom tower. Now I will say, Grumpy is Grumpy's four and five, but he's keeping up in the farm. Six hundred gold behind Eagle. I'm just not sure about that hurricane bike as an item. Oh, but the bongo yeah. into double maledict and nimbus. Grumpy trying to zone them out with the stone gaze. It will work, but at what cost? The mid's already dead. That's a big source of your damage. Guess what's happening to Dyer's They'll click down the Nimbus. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, Yoso with the T9 on the tower Nimbus cloud. Dyer's. Well done. Dyer's bottom tower's getting the business. I didn't even know you could deny it. Dyer's bottom tower got blown to bits. For that? Neither did I. <laughs> Interesting. That's almost clip worthy. Just as just as a, a little cheeky fuck you. And this is what it's like 125 gold or something. Wow. Hurricane Pike's done. 2,000 gold into a Scotty. Titan Sliver. Now that's a good drop. Get that on the Dusa. But Eagle is close by. Just gonna he sees him in vision. Die under the dire ward, he's just gonna take the outpost and now he'll be he content alone, to farm. but I don't know what you do. Mm. Difficult to lock down an eagle. Full silver edge down on eagle as well, and they're gonna move into the pit. Ooh. Well, will will dire recognize it? Doesn't look like they do. If you're dire though, what do you do about it? If you let them get this Aegis, it's at least a lane of Rax. Yeah, but I don't know how you stop it. They do, they do scan it, so they know, oh, but they, Roche, they, is, just Roche is a the half Zeus. HP. They've just been the Zeus. Oh, they don't, they don't know he's standing on top of him with an Invis rune. 
Nimbus Cloud goes down. Mady Patini very low, but they will kill Reg first. Zorax is trying to click away, but now he's going to get focused. The swap is too late. Patini surviving on a fraction of HP with his BKB. Heretic does a lot of damage with the Freezing Field, but Yoso, walking away on 150 health, gets cookied out. They did manage to kill Eagle and the Dawnbreaker, so they, they have managed to stop the Roche for now. But Ereb in the trees with the Witch Doctor ult. Mana Shield completely burned. He dies to the Maledict. All of his mana burned by the Witch Doctor ult. So the Maledict is enough. But they can't finish Roche until Eagle's alive. So, Dire... I'm almost wondering if you buy back and you try to you try to get this Roche on Grumpy Nerd. Eagle's going to have 20 seconds to walk back in the pit before Grumpy's alive again. And a lot of the ults are down for Radiant and will not be back up if they immediately try to take a Roche fight. No, no Thunder Gods, maybe no Solar Guardian, and no Gauze. Zeus Meanwhile, Underlord has his Rift. I think you could just four-man Rift into the pit here. It'd be an excellent play. It's Eagle God. He's got an Ultimate Orb coming out. He's working on his Scotty, too. 1,500 gold away. Breaker standing on top of the Dire Wards. Eagle into the jungle by himself. Looking for a pick, and he's found Heretic. The Frostbite, but the Dark packed off. The Nimbus, the Glimmer Cape, will keep him alive. And now Eagle's on the run. Solar Guardian to zone out the Dire. But the Radiant need numbers here. Heretic goes down. Mady Patini's just manning up to try to fight all three of them. And it's enough. Grumpy can't stop him. And now Radiant has numbers. Mana Shield is on. He four steps out of the Maledict. Eagle looking for the chase. Eagle just get for just get the kill on Retro Frog. Another Nimbus. He's been whipped and he's out. Oh. He's out. Will not dive to tier 3. During all of this, Roche is still alive. Now, they definitely go back for it now. Mm -hmm. That was a decent Gauzin, to be fair. So, that was very good Gauzin. Was it Stobby who's playing Snap? Yes. Yep, yep. Stobby Snap, one of the, uh, the classic Stobby heroes, I think. Or Stobby Clock took over. you argue maybe giving the Aegis to, to Dawnbreaker here? I think Eagle should not die in these fights. Yeah. yeah. Possibly even Zeus, just to stop Zeus getting a... Uh... Oh, well, they choose to put it on uh, Eagle. Which, it's not a bad choice. No, no. Well, potentially, I would have agreed putting it on the Dawn here, because Eagle, <laughs> you don't really want to be your tower hitter. Also, Eagle, you want to kind of remain six. What, what items has Eagle got? Has he got six slotted yet? Uh, he does not have Shouldn't the Scotty yet. Almost. I see he's swapped out. Okay. So I think both of them have got just a stick that you can swap out for your ages. So. He's got. He's got the. He's got the gold now. He bought the ultimate orb. It's coming out. So the Scotty is done. Dawn actually got a Mage Slayer. And is now working on AC. Like a mate is very fond. Yeah, matey as a pause three is almost twice the network of the enemy mid. Zaraxxus has just had a miserable game. Going for a Gleipnir. But I think the game will be over before he gets it. Fortunately, I think I'd have to agree. Tady with the level 20. Minus one luminosity attacks required, so he will be critting quite a lot. There's just more damage coming out in these fights for Radiant. Illusion. It's very tanky.
29 armor, uh, 50% magic resistance with the Mage Slayer. Yeah, you can't go on this dawn anymore. They will try for the slow siege in the mid lane. While Patati pushes Wait. out the bot. I'm gonna have to drop off Chapman, because this there's nobody else to stand in for average Whopper enjoyers, and I don't wanna see a team get default losses, so off said I'll jump in for them. Alright, well Make it easy. thank you for sticking around. Yeah, good on you. Enjoy the cast guys, good luck. Thanks, Steve. Good, good luck, luck to you too. Good. Chat, give it up for soups. I believe Eagle just bought a shard. Yes, he did. So that depth shroud will be online. In the bottom lane, though, the double Zeus salt, double Nimbus comes out. Grumpy's still looking healthy, but he's got to he's got to run away. No eagle, no Makes problem for Scipio. Yoso also going in. They're diving it. Oh. Retrocog caught in the trees with the Zeus vision. Gets zapped down and they're they are right outside fountain. Grumpy out of mana, out of HP. It's a five man wipe for Scipio. Starting and to look a bit like GG's. Isn't it's it? it's starting to look like they need to there call it. Is. it. There it is. Thraxis, good good job. Won't drag oh. out the suffering. 23k net worth lead. Scipio takes game one. Will there be a game two? Uh, don't know yet. Be we'll interesting to see the graph at the end of this, because I felt like it was quite balanced for the first... I guess until Eagle's got six, and then... Yeah, Eagle, managed to Eagle had a really, quite far. really rough lane, too. Yeah, yeah. Yoso, 8-0-26 on the Zeus. A flawless game. Say he, I say he did pretty standard Zeus things. Yeah. Uh, Scipio started off quite heavily uh, biased in the probability, and uh, yeah, at 15 minutes, um, it did look 50-50, and then the uh, steamroll happened. Grumpy Yoso was didn't even die. Eight yeah. and zero on Yoso. Oof. He was able to. Grumpy was able to keep up. Most of the game, in terms of net worth, it just it just came down to what we said in the draft is that Medusa just comes online too late. Mm. So, what did, he, what did he finish with? Manta, Pike, Scotty. I mean, he he did okay, but I wouldn't say this loss is on him. I'd say the loss is more on the pick than than how he played. I think he played okay, except for the one mm. the one time he died without mana shield. That was a little criminal. Yeah, he had good farm and he was getting his items. Yeah. I think Zaraxxus need to be a bit more aggressive in lane. Like like you say, at the points we were looking at where Zeus was just sort of dancing around. Ult the Zeus. Go, go, ham deep. Yeah, at least force them to TP. Yeah, yeah. Zaraxxus, though. Yo mirroring Yoso. 8-0 no on Yoso. 0-8 oh, on Zaraxxus. Just a... A roughie. Ruffy to be sure. Unfortunate. Take a look at hero damage. Pretty much everyone on Dire did the same amount of damage, plus or minus like 5k. 33,000 on the uh, Zeus. Slark actually did the least. To the lobby. Realized I've got to make the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. I just checked. Uh, I just checked the channel for a password. Actually. Eagle actually has the lowest damage on his team. I th I feel like that's typical Eagle. Like, just, just let me farm, guys. Hey, he does it well. He does it well. He's a good uh, good to keep in the pocket for a win condition. Where is Goon International? I'll put the. Uh... Now with the break. Time to check on my how my fantasy team is doing. Oh, we are rolling. 
switch scenes real quick. We are rolling 74 to 10. Goodness. Mark Andrews with two touchdowns today. Let's fucking go. Uh, I'm going to start 3-0. So I have to think about this. Um, Yosef's team were on Radiant. Were yeah, they on Radiant. They were on Radiant. So uh, Yosef's team now on Dire. They're on Dire. Yosef's team won the coin toss. So starting team needs to go to Manual. Starting team is Radiant. So this way, Radiant get first pick. I believe that's how this works. Touchdown Dolphins, they take the lead. Dolphins doing any better these days? Dolphins? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're they're pretty they're they're doing pretty well. They had a big comeback win last week. Oh. Against Baltimore. They were down, I think, twenty one going into the fourth quarter and, and Tiger Vailoa let them black let let him back and threw for six touchdowns in the game. Oh nice. Yeah, it was I'm actually lost tracking of uh, American football over the last few years. Yeah, usually Sundays are my mates and I just all watch like all the games. We just put up a red zone stream and nice. watch everything. Nice. It's definitely had our eyes on that one. Uh, I'm all, I'm pr I'm pretty much only here because my team plays tomorrow. Who's your team? New York Giants, baby. Ah, I've got a friend who's well into the Giants. They do have a London game this year. Yeah, they do, they do. And um, Broncos, I think, are coming over as well. Is that the... Is that the game they played... Are they playing Jacksonville? Because Jacksonville seems to have one every year. Yeah, Jacksonville like coming over. I don't know why. Well, the, the, the rumor over here is the, the, the meme is that they're going to get relocated to London because... <laughs> I saw um they're doing a game in Munich as well. Seattle Seahawks, Tampa Bay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh Yeah, no. Jaguars, Broncos is the London game. That'll be 30th of October. All right, Retrofrog is G. We are G. Uh, it's on. Dyer's good. Manual Radiant. It's time team. Cool. It's a it's an exciting time to be a Giants fan, I think, because the last the last decade, ever since they won the the Super Bowl in 2011, they've been mm. absolute dog shit. <laughs> like I shit you not, they are they're like tied with the Jets for being the worst team in the league over the last ten years. Uh, they've gone through four head coaches in the last five years. Uh, we've gotten average to below average quarterback play. We've had like no talent outside of our first round pick running back, Saquon Barkley, a couple years ago. And then Radio so he, he wins rookie of the year in twenty eighteen. And then the next two years after that, 
gets season-ending injuries like in the first two weeks of the year. So they've been they've been pretty bad. But a new a new coach this year came over from yeah, Buffalo, who's turned cool. into an absolute powerhouse. Uh, and for the first time in six years, we've started two and zero on the year. So nice. there's reasons there's reasons to be happy. And there's a big there's a big prove it game this uh, this week because tomorrow night we play the Cowboys. Big rivalry game. And I get to fuck the Cowboys. Uh, my only reason for not liking the Cowboys is the general state of Texas at the moment, but still. You can't blame the Cowboys for that. No, but I'll take any excuse to hate the Cowboys. Yeah, fair enough. Eagles were the uh, the team that I was following when I was uh, into Dyer's my American pick. football. Disruptor. They seem to be doing pretty well at the start of the season. Doing they are. well at the moment. They're they're also two and zero. Um, Jalen Hurts looks like he could be the real deal. I'm still not sold, but he's, he's played well the first two games. They're winning big today. I think. I think they were beating Washington like twenty four to two last time I looked. Seconds. So they're gonna start three zero. I will say if we uh, if we oh, they picked a disruptor, fantastic. Uh, Dawnbreaker band as well. Uh, news in from the Wogan Zweeners. Uh, Hatch uh, currently five four three foot one billionaires are twenty k up on Wogan Zweeners. So. Crystal Maiden. Not looking good for Wogan. Nope. Pretty standard bands outside of that. The Undying Band again. Don't blame them for that. I think also um, Flax go. is uh, casting the, uh, the other game. He's got about three simultaneous games at the moment. Is he? Up against the big guns. Has there been any rust in the last couple Stessies. of days? No, I think that's um, come to a uh, an untimely end because we had a few things left to do on that. But uh, ten seconds to go. Yeah. Five seconds. I was curious to see how the narrative would end, but if that's that, uh, I can uh, I can share the script with you if you'd like. I do it off stream. <laughs> Radiance <laughs> band tied onto. What's that? A good six months of making that uh, that map as well. It's good fun though, and uh, a lot of it was very good practice for what will be the Jingle Jam this year. So. Oh yeah, so that's coming up, isn't it? Yeah, Damn it's uh, it's getting to that go. time around October. Dire uh, man. A nice man in a red outfit comes along with a big bushy beard, and I go, "Oh, Cinny, is it that time again?" And uh, a good forty to fifty of us uh, get together and. Start plonking that thing together. Whatever magic sin he has for us this year. Radiance Van. So Scipio feeling confident enough to first phase a jug pick. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty <sighs> safe carry, so... It's not like you can do... Uh... What well, what counters jug? I, I'm I'm afraid I'm not good Man. enough to know. But in my opinion, jug spin is one of the most powerful spells in the game, realistically. Spins good. What what really counters Omni is the question. I I guess you want to kill the Jug before he gets Omni off. Yeah. So it, it, it's one of those you can only counter him killing you by killing him first, right? Right. So maybe I guess maybe a Void or a you could go you could go support good. you could go support Wyvern here. I was thinking PL if you use a PL on him, then uh, as long as you got a lot of illusions up, Jug hopefully doesn't. Hit you as much. That's one way. Something yeah. Evasion, PA, PA evasion would be good. PA is banned out. Oh yeah, there it is. Um. Ten seconds to go. They've banned the sniper. I would say sniper's a good one because you can just you, you can't get close enough to go into Omni. Just keep smacking him back. Oh. Here's here's a wild one. Hear me out on this. Mid Willow. Hmm. 
Go on. Well, you've got you've got Shadow Realm, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can't. I don't. I'm not sure if Shadow Realm will stop the Omni if it's mid Omni, but it'll at least stop him from targeting you, and then you just yeah, get yeah. Ags and. Uh... Dyer's pick. If he doesn't yeah. have spin, then you just machine gun him down Radiant with magic damage. Pick. I mean, you have to get something for attack speed before Radiant you get the Ags right. You have to. Uh... I, I always think um, Mid Willow has like a um, a lull. You know, you do quite well at the start because you've got so much control and everything over the other person, but then you just lack damage until you get that axe. And even when you get the axe, you need something that's going to boost attack speed, boost your damage, or you yeah. Know, level. So her her attack speed talent's at 25 now. I'm not sh I'm not sure if they moved that from. They might have moved that from yeah. 20. But 100. Attack you see what I mean? Though there's that there's yeah. going to be that lull, isn't there? That sort of mid game lull where you're just going to not be as effective as a, a normal mid. Okay, so blink out of wow. slash. That's a uh, that's one way to do it, I think. Oh, if you if you counterspell while he does it, you just turn into Dragon Ball Z, like a lotus. Maybe. Ten yeah. seconds to go. I like it. Five seconds. It's a it's a quick it's a quick. It's farmer. another wait and see farmer though, isn't it? I mean, once you get Battle Fury, you can start pressuring the map a bit. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's a, it's a good hero to keep tempo with the Jug because they have pretty identical builds. Uh, you've got two juicy Mana Void targets already. It'll also stop Freezing Field. It's a lot of Radiant nice things band. for that Rubik to steal, though. Isn't it? Flada. Oh yeah, this is this is looking like a great Rubik game so far. I like the Slardar here because the vision that uh, Pros of Haze will give. Yep. Wherever the Animage blinks to, you'll you'll know where he is. It's like having a bounty on your team. But I would I would much rather have a Slardar over a bounty. Die mm -hmm. man. But it's Stobby Slardar as well. He's pretty good at Slardar. Radiance Bane. So what do they need? So Scipio needs a mid. And Society Livers needs... This could be a Pugna Nid or it could be a Pugna 4. I think it's probably a Pugna 4 because I've not known Xeraxis to play Ten Pugna seconds to go. But I don't know. Scipio seems to think it's a 4. They banned Five the Zeus. Seconds. Zeus Pugna would be pretty disgusting, so... Mm -hmm. They don't have a lot of... There's not a lot of tank on Scipio, so that's a good ban. Jug doesn't really get all that tanky until he's got, like, Scotty. Yeah. I mean, the Slaughter's pretty tanky. He's tanky, but until, yeah. I, until you get BKB on him, which is... It's not going to be, you know, first item. Mm -hmm. I think you can blow him up pretty easily. I need a mid. What? what? Dyer's ban. Mid would be. Silencer ban. It's just standard. Pick. They ban the OD. That would have been pretty good. Yeah. OD on top of Mana Void and Decrep and. Dyer's pick. And they go for. Spirit Breaker. So it will be a pug mid. mid Pugna? Okay. So has gone. Maybe they've switched. Maybe it's not. Yeah, maybe they were. Maybe they were thinking OD or something up until that point, and then we're like, okay, well, we can just switch the pugna to mid. Ten seconds to go. Yeah. But this gives them five seconds. Global presence. Uh. They've got a reasonable amount of tank on. Uh, not sure how they would. Yeah. Well, like Spearbreaker would obviously have to be charging into a lane that already has heroes because they have no other global follow-up. You know what? Disruptor's quite good at taking care of Juggernaut. If you think about it, fences him in, uses his ult. Juggernaut can't do anything. Can't spin, can't ult. If this could be... If this could be a pause for Disruptor, I don't think it will be. But if he gets the Ags to mute... Mm, uh, mute items Jug's as well. items, yeah. Yeah, it could be really powerful. 
you know, you got the Spirit Breaker to set it up. The Disruptor can't miss there, and a little bit of a, a Tide Hunter ult to freeze everyone in place, and Pugna can be sucking it while it, uh, well, while it happens. And a Wendy again. last pick. Yeah, no, it's because Spirit Breaker can, can bash through spin, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, actually a really good way to lock down Eagle. I think Yoso and Wind, Wind Ranger is going to be... I don't know. Wind Ranger, anti match just blinks out. Spirit Breaker charges out. It's a bit of a wild Maybe card. Doesn't care. Yeah, it's. I don't, I don't see it strong, but I don't see it weak. But. And they put Zaraxxus on the AM. Hmm. Is 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 Grumpy more of a Magna player than a carry player? Like, I don't. I don't, I'm not sure really what. Uh, roles they're familiar with. I think Zaraxxus yeah, is more, with, uh... definitely more favored. What's Grumpy got on his profile? Maybe. I thought Grumpy was more of a support. Naturally, so. Interesting. Places, Let's see where this everyone. goes. And I think if there's one thing over the years that I, I regret missing out on, it's getting the AM persona. Really? Yeah. I actually really, really like it. I don't know if I've got it. I do have it. It is not tradable or marketable, so there you yeah. Go. <laughs> I th it came out. It came out after I had like sworn off dotes for quite a while, so that was my reasoning for not getting it. And I'm not. I'm not even like that. Even though I'm like back to kind of playing, uh, I'm not that bothered about getting like the PA one or the Void Arcana. I think if RuneScape taught me anything, it's to always get the Arcanas, because at some point you might be able to sell your account for a couple of thousand pounds to someone with more money than cents. That's one way to look at it. Yep. I think my I went over this, I think, last time uh, I did a cast, but the most expensive Any Dota item problem. I have are uh, the AM Bashers from like a couple TIs ago. They were going. I I checked it last time. I think they're going for like two hundred quid. Uh. Most expensive item that I have that I get. I get countless number of fucking friend requests from like CS:GO traders. Cause I played a, I played a death match once, and back when they gave you like random drops after, after games, they gave me a factory new CZ. Uh, with like a really rare skin and I think when it came out it was worth like forty five dollars and since it has grown to maybe like four or five hundred. I have a blue party hat on RuneScape uh -huh. that is worth north of about five thousand dollars. I've still got it. It's just gonna sit there for a bit. Because every time I think, oh, I should sell it, because that's as high as it's going to go. It goes higher. It, it just goes higher. It just keeps going up. Yeah. Same with the... full set of Halloween masks that sit at about the $1,000 sort of mark. It's... It's that's how I feel about that CZ. And, uh... The... I have a couple of unusuals in Team Fortress. I just think one day I might have a kid who might have to pay university fees and you know that money sure would be handy at that point.
the mid lane pretty pretty even so far. Seven last hits to six. Uh, he has a point in, in to crep, so could get some easy denies. Oh, misses that one though. Push from Grumpy. Dyer's mid tower won't last much longer. Oh. It's a lot of damage, even just level it two. Is. Level two Q is. Charge top. Eagle. Sticks around a bit. Reg doesn't have an anchor smash. They, he had just used it when Spirit Breaker started charging, so they didn't have a follow up burst. Eagle is nice out of reach. He's, he's, uh, he's ferrying out more, though, so you should be okay. So Grumpy has his bottle. Oh yeah, he yeah. does. He's even switching out his uh, intelligence items to use his bottle. It's... Good, good little he bit of efficiency. What knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Good min max. Lost arts among the goons. Reg absolutely having the time of his life up here in this top lane. They can't touch him. Eating away with 18 last hits, but. Down bottom, Slardar matching him. Now with eight and eight denies. Uh, Zerax is not having a good time, and he really needs to get up to that Battle Fury before he. Uh... Where's his support? He's. His support's pulling the lane, but. He did a half pull. You know, your carry needs help, man. <laughs> your carry needs help. Rioso, bottom one is still there if Grumpy wants to go for it. Get the denies on these creeps. Gets one. Rioso. Uh, the pull camp is stacked up top. And now CM looking to pull through for Eagle. And gets it. Well done, well done. Zarax is getting beaten up quite a bit, the, uh... No! Dyer's mid tower could use spells coming in handy there to get him out. He has two tangos left and... Oh, I thought he wasn't gonna get that one. Oh no, Zarax is... He's going the no boots Battle Fury rush. He needs it bad. Yep. He needs to go to the jungle and, uh... Become Uber. Uber Zaraxis. Reg says, "Thank you for pulling these creeps for me. I will, I will eat these up. Lots of skeletons. Smash. Good anchor smash. Gets the big creeps as well. Actually, I think he lost the troll summoner. Oh no! Gold from oh no! Oh, they actually get him." I missed that over. one. I panned over right just as he died. Just got spun on. Just got spun on. Reggie's in those boots as well. And just got spun on. This is why I normally go uh, phase boots when I'm playing against a storming. Looks like they're trying well, to set up on Yoso here up. mid. Grumpy has six. Spear breakers hanging around. Mid -towers there it goes. Oh, so oh. much damage. Yeah, but he did it too early, and now the TP response from Rubik. Heretic's in way too deep now. Get shackled. Yoso's just gonna burn the ult. Uh, Decrep to save Heretic. I don't think he needed it, but uh, yeah, it, it, it gets him out. Yoso with focus fire really doesn't do a lot of damage. That is a nice regen rune for Grumpy. Charge on a bot. Maybe Potato trying to man up and kill Zaraxxus, but it won't. It won't be. And it's a it's a kill for Zaraxxus, which is really good. He's got his ring of health, so he can exist a little more in this lane now. And a pause. Ayoso. We got some potato lag.
Please, please don't miss this last hit. Zaraxxus, you missed the other one. It's free. It's free farm. It's bad. I, I think I go for the Perseverance first uh, before picking up a damage component of the Battle Fury. I need to exist in this lane if I'm him. Yeah. Yeah. Does he need mana, though? I don't know. Oh, he got it. Is he going to get the other one? Trouble. Yeah, he got, both. he got them both. Yes. a boy. That's my boy. And he put a second point in blink, so he will need the mana, it seems. I do like this. I like this for uh, farming purposes. I usually get a couple extra points in blink. Having that cooldown always up really helps. Same thing, uh, same thing when I play co-op. Although you kind of need levels in her other skills a little bit more. I bought the first hit bash into the crush. Everything they do, he's just going to blink out. He's just going to blink out. Standard anti match, isn't it? He's just going to just going to blink and leave. Oh, there's a charge on Stobby. It's not. He's not got the speed. Cancel it. Cancel. Yeah. Good. good. When she's left alone with Eagle. They're yeah, trying to bait Yoso in. Oh, they're just gonna dive? Yep, the tar charge under the tower. Decreps him so he can't try to bash. Okay, well. That's little little questionable skill usage there, but. Get some damage on the tower. Uh, Yosho should deny this rune. He does. Oh, but now Areb's here as well. Oh, what is that shackle? No! And now the drain life and heretic to charge the CM to interrupt any frostbite. She has to use it on Spearbreaker to get away, but this should be a dead CM, and it nice. is. They just, they goon the shit out of that one. That's another blast on the tower. That tower's nearly down. You had an easy setup on power shot, and Yoso oh, whiffs having it. having to spin out of uh, Reggie now as well. This is good. This is some much better playing. Yeah. Um, Mark Wahlberg actually with a slight net worth lead. You approach the 10 minute mark. Draxus does get the Perseverance Guys, done first. Heaven. Mid lane, Grumpy gets the tower. At a cost of half of his HP, but he doesn't care. Up top, the Omni Slash doesn't kill either Heretic or Reg. Reg will walk away. Heretic burns the Bulldoze to give him the move speed. He's out as well, and that's a down Omni Slash. So this answers our question. How you defeat Omni Slash? Just don't let it kill you. <laughs> Just pick you massive amounts of beef and Tidehunter. He's only got one point in Kraken. I do like playing a tide. I, I would have phase boots and go full into the Kraken shell and just be unclickable for at least a couple of minutes in the early game. It's just nice to stand there. Stobby charging mid again. He also misses his uh, shackle shot. Grumpy, you need to you need to bait him in a little bit. Got no tower. Here comes Heretic. It's too deep. I would have canceled that. Towers getting beat. Did Heretic get the tome? Uh, he does yep, now. There we go. He's just bought it. He's just bought it. Good. So he desperately needs his six because when he goes in for those charges, Brilliant. he needs to be able to bash him back up. He's one creep away from five, and then the tome might just give He'll him six from where he is now. Yeah. Bottom lane, Grumpy, life draining the Rubik, mana void on top of it, but the is charge, this charge will sort it. Yeah, it'll nice. guarantee it. Well done, Heretic. That's got him some decent XP. He's definitely gonna have his ult now. He's he's doing a good job of uh, finding these kills on the map as well. Like, yeah, you can't overextend he's, at he's all. He's pretty slow at the moment, but he's uh, he's there when they need him. There's the tome delivered. Heretic's got his six. Straight to six. You know who doesn't have six yet? Is this Rubik? 
Charge canceled by Yoso. Good job. Dyer's bottom towers get into business. I guarantee you that was on the CM. So good play to Eagle save. Very low. Life. Very yeah, low, but looking back to base. He's just gonna go home and heal. That's a lot of time wasted for him though. Heretics up here top. This is a this is an easy CM kill if they go for it. And they, here they go. And he's got his ult. Come With the ult. charge, gets frostbited. They burn the Ravage for it, Cancel. but the TP response is here. Three TPs, four TPs top. <laughs> the CM dies, and a stolen Ravage by Stabi. He actually picked up the Tome himself. Comes in oh. with the stolen Ravage. Well done by Stabi to have the foresight. Picks up the Tome in base. He was level five when he was dead. He TPs the base. He's level. He TPs the lane. He's level seven. I will not forget this. One nice thing about this though. Eased up the pressure on Zaraxxus. Radiance gone and fortified their structure. Got a bit of free farm, got a bit of time. 700 gold to Battle Fury, and Radiance so that would put him probably around. Oh, assists. come on. Come on. You this can't miss that range. Bold creep. TP. This is a bold TP into the top. Yeah, if Grumpy can stay alive oh. long enough, put the bash through. And Reg is here as well. No Ravage. Retrofrog doesn't have his ult either. Oh, this is actually a disaster for Radiant. The Omni Slash gets nothing and. Eagle's going to pick pole away. He also backs up as well on half HP. It's just full disengage now for the Dire, but Stabi looks to be the casualty here, unless a good Shackle. Nope, Shackle does not land. Stabi with a solid life drain. Oh, well done by Stabi. With two massive steals in this top lane to turn fights around. The spin under the tower, Reg, very, very low. The creep will not, doesn't give him vision. The shackle it's a and it's a dead. Uh, that's a dead reg. Oh, he's got the evasion to go. Yeah. It's not cheap getting the gear I need. Stabby we playing do a bit of out of his mind right now. A soldier's we fortune. Do a bit of feeding. Hundred gold to battle fury for Zaraxxus, So a very pressured lane comes out with a fourteen-minute battle fury. That's it, job's done. Now his farm will start to take off. Switching to net worth, it's actually Slardar and Jug and Yoso before any Radiant. Oh, let's hold it together. Heretic, ult is up again. Nobody really set up on, you could go on the CM down here. AM is mana void. Oh, Fury coming out for AM as well. Yep. Boom. Alright, Kanzaraxis. Jungle time. He's so far. He's also very low in the mid lane. Zeus ult? He's gonna get healed up by Stabi. He still has the suck. Meanwhile... Slardar has his blink, and they're looking to make a play on this Anti-Mage, it looks like. But Anti-Mage is going to jump first. Arab with the, the cancelled Freezing Field with the Mana Void, oh no. just as I predicted. Hey, and he just blinks out of the crush. Every time, he's just going to blink. Just as I said, what's, what's the easiest way to cancel Freezing Field? It's Mana Void. Stabi still has suck for a few more seconds, and they go on. They go on Zerexus again with the crush. The the suck gets interrupted by the charge through. He's gonna have to steal another spell here in a second. He steals Nether Strike. That's a big steal from Stabi. He also dies, but Grumpy dies as well. Both mids going down. Zerex is gonna blink back out. Stabi, if he can get in range for the, uh, there it is. That'll be a, a second one for the Dire. If you're the die, you dive the tower now, right? You want to get that anti match. Heretic gonna charge out. Zaraxis, just leave. Zaraxis, please leave. Oh, but Reg is here. Reg is here with Ravage. They're looking to. They're looking to go here. Stabi just used spell steal as well, so he won't be able to steal Ravage. Oh, they gotta know. Oh, the Ravage is late. It doesn't no. catch the Slardar. He's gonna slither away. It's just gonna be a sacrificial CM. Why would you wait for the Ravage there? Use it onto the tower? 
And Sabi blinks, nice out, blinks out. Now Eagle shows up with the Omni Slash. It doesn't catch Grumpy. Reg tanks most of it, but the crush will follow. He'll be dead. He gushes down the CM just in time before he dies. But Grumpy survives on a silver health and he's sticking around. Why are you sticking around? The power shot just misses. His life drains up. Stabby has had some Hopefully incredible Aurora's steals. Again. He really yeah, has. He's, he's, he's always he's stealing the right the spell. Rubik. He's stolen three alts in 15 minutes. Stole the blink to get out of the suck. And now a shackle on the Grumpy, but it's set up for the Retro Frog. Static Storm. Reverse suck back on the Mady Potato kills him. A glimpse that goes absolutely nowhere. Stabby. Another suck. Another suck if you can get it. Grumpy, uh, why, are you, why are you backing up here, mate? That's a, it's a should be a dead Rubik. Well, look at the Tinker Ward up here on the cliff in top lane. Oh, that's a good spin from Eagle. But they're right. They should they should go on the Eagle now. He's used his Omni. He's... Stobby's low. They're TPing. Oh, Zerax has gone top. Oh, smoked. Pop straight away. And they're going to look to re-engage. Grumpy goes down early. The freezing field used and cancelled immediately. There's a charge now onto CM, but he cancels it. Smartly done by Heretic. It feels like a, a bit of a lack of communication on Mark Wahlberg team. I had two go top, a couple go bottom, one goes in. You get nothing. Whereas you look at, like, uh, the Skippo helmet. They're, they're, just, they're all together. They know what they're doing. They're following the leader. They have all five bot here. To pressure this tier two, they're farming the jungle. This will come in handy. No oh, eagles out. Draxus almost ties to ancients. Goodness, down to sixty HP. Grumpy will claim the top tower. Dyer's top tower's gone. One blast. I, you gotta, you gotta give give the suck to Draxus. Come on. Can't let your AM walk around on 200 health. And the Cioso Illusion's probably gonna find him. If Eagle don't find him first. Or if Grumpy finds Eagle, they have the charge on him. All of his spells are up. It's a matter if they can chain stun. They decrep. And Eagle's gonna spin out. There was no mana for Nether Strike. Come on, Grumpy, get the healing ward, yeah. Guess what's happening. Sticks around. Oh, he sucked a creep, Grumpy. The suck on the creep, and the eagle walks away. Almost done with the 50 gold off of Mjolnir. That would have been a huge kill. The dire best do something about that bottom tower. Zerax is still struggling a bit to catch up on farm, even though Eagle did not go for Battle Fury. Eagle's just good at farming. That's what he does. Give him space and he'll take advantage. This is still interesting. They're so close to each other. Yeah, this is looking a lot better for... Wahlberg at 20 minutes than the last game did. Like they held on for like 12 or 15 minutes or so last game, but I think they've got a much better team this time. Yep. Grumpy goes Zerax down in mid. To where he wants to be. It's, it's much better. Oh, Rubik. Stabby, another big steal. Steals the Nether Blast, so they can look to pressure these towers. Regeneration. They don't have a lot of uh, tower hitting outside of Eagle and uh, Yoso ult. So this Nether Blast is going to be really good to ramp up the pressure. Charge bot. Charges a creep, but still catches Eagle. Spin is burned. He might look to go here. Reg TP's in. On, they got, uh... Reg went axe for over blink. Oh, I, I don't agree with that. He, you can't do it. He hasn't, like I said, he hasn't got the face boots. Like, I guess if you had face boots, you got a little bit of like get in there and do your ult, but 
Axe first is... He's not even Shackle the on gush. the Grumpy, eating up the spin. He decreps himself. Gonna give the suck on the Slardar. Uh, another ward also. They might not look to fight into the Nether ward. Eagle very low. The gush is enough! Yeah. And the two-man Ravage on into the jungle. Actually, a three-man catches the CM as well. They glimpse back. Stabby gives the lift on to Use your gush, Reg. Reg. Just gush well, he, him. he was lifted. Stabby with a reverse gush to slow down Reg. He's going to try to deny himself to the creeps, but the, the Thunderstrike from Retrofrog will claim the kill. Yoso, lucky enough to get away. A buyback on Spirit Breaker. He's charging. He's got the charge on Yoso, but he's too deep now. We'll cancel. A uh, three so for one, just though. put his third point in Gush into that fight. You'd, you'd think if you're going Axe first, you'd be leveling your Gush up, right? Yeah, 3-3, three, three, <laughs> or 2-3-4 <three, laughs> at that point is a little... There we go. He's, uh, he's four into Gush now, but... Yeah. It takes a long time to farm an axe. You, you, you really want to be doing that. <laughs> Still, that's a that's a big fight for Wahlberg, though. They catch Eagle at yep. the start. Uh, it's a three for one trade overall. They kill Stabby, so he's got no spells. Yeah. Skippo's less than one k ahead. Still, they're not uh, they're not snowballing like they did last time. Finding it difficult. Mid -towers have that probably Actually, got all some. Well, is farming as well. So. Yeah, they got they got five v fours. Got some net worth on Zaraxxus now. Almost done with the Manta style. As is Yasha now. Nice. He's creeping up there. Pugna Aetherlens Boots of Travel. Now gone for the so Kai. So we only managed to get a bulldoze there, so... Unfortunate. Eagle hunting. Knows Grumpy's in the trees down here. Doesn't find him. Grumpy giving his best Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing impression. <laughs> and now they know Eagle's in this bot jungle. Heretic has the vision. They they give him the charge. Oh, he's actually charging the creeps. He wasn't charging Eagle, and he'll spin out of the glimpse. It's a lot of TP's coming. I hope he's communicating back, because this is a back out now. Oh, it's a little bit of both, isn't it? Do you fight? Do you back out? Yeah, they're bosturing. Ravage in five seconds. I think they fight this. Radiant has all their ults. Dire has all their ults. This has to be a fight. There's a pin somewhere. Yep, they've caught, uh, they caught Grumpy. They caught Grumpy. A stolen Decrepify by, by Stabby. That'll be great to save somebody. Dodges the power shot. Eagle looking to run in. He's got the Omni Slash onto Retro Frog. That's a dead disruptor. No static storm for this fight if they choose to re-engage. So Rax is taking tier 2 top, though. He's ratting. He forces back the Eagle TP. And now they look to fight, now that Eagle's committed. A Ravage down bot. BKB on Slardar to cancel it, but Yoso sticking around. The healing ward is still there. CM's down. CM's down. Just click the healing ward. There you go. Zaraxxus TP's in. Mana Void onto Yoso, but no follow-up and no win run away. What about defense? Oh, but if they could catch Mady Potato here, it'd be even better. Does he, go? Oh, he, has he, he does not have ult, but Zaraxxus is though. there. This sucks going. Suck. He's got blink in one second, and he's away. So the eagle takes top one, top tier one. Radiant. Guess what's happening to Dyer's bottom tower? All right, all right. Wahlberg showing a lot more, a lot more gumption in this uh, second game. Guess what's happening to Dyer's bottom tower? Still only a 1k net worth lead for Scipio. The Dyer gave up a bottom tower. Stabby died in that fight, so he has no spell stolen. It's a good usage of uh, BKB there by Potato to not get ravaged. Big, big, big swings in the graph there. Uh, Yoso Radi just Radiant sort now of sitting so. very low in the top jungle. Yeah. Making no attempt to heal up or anything. 
probably figures that he's he's safe. He's got Eagle in front of him in the jungle, so acting as a scout, so he knows that they're not they're not smoked or anything. So though I would I would fly out of South. Or That's what I'm thinking. Well, he's, there's no. Like... He's only got 5.9 health regen. That's not a lot. If he keeps farming these crit, look, he's it's nearly below 100 health. He's he's going back to base. I think. Meanwhile, there could be a fight. Oh, cancel charge. We're fighting over the bottom. Eagle's rune. going in. A, he's very alone. Rune. He's very alone. Grumpy activates his arcane rune. Matady's there to give him some help. The glimpse back, but the kinetic field static storm does not connect. So that's a big ultimate for Radiant down if they choose to continue to fight this. Ravage just came up. Oh. I guess Grumpy still has this arcane. Reggie's right got too. his blink. He's just got his blink. So he's. Oh, that's that's a nice blink mid as well. Yep, he is the man to watch right now. Grumpy's yeah. still holding on to this arcane rune as well. Could be a lot of damage coming out on the side of Mark Wahlberg. But a four-man smoke by Dyer, they're looking to wrap around if they hang around in this middle lane. Retro breaks the smoke, he'll be the sacrificial lamb. Don't fight this, lads. Back it up. Yep. Back it up. Static Storm will be back shortly after Disruptor respawns. So Rex has got his mantle, he's going for his BKB now. Let's say he's about halfway there. Grumpy pushing out the top wave. Uh it's back in the camps. The dire might want to mine the top tower. Oh, maybe he just got shard. I was like, he got this Kaya a while ago and hasn't gotten another item since only nine hundred gold, but I think he got I think he got shard in between. Oh, that's a risky charge there, heretic. Uh he's down. Don't, don't ravage this. Don't, don't. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> All right, it might work out if Xeraxis can get some, but he's getting chain bashed. Chain bashed again and again. Xeraxis, he mantas. He's going to try to man up a man fight, but another bash from Batani. Oh, no. <laughs> and now Grumpy will be next. Matey Batani, the bash lord. And <laughs> it's a five-man wipe. Ooh. From Mark Wahlberg, a big swing. There goes a, it was close though. A massive swing. Zaraxis, I cannot justify manning up there when Batady has you chain bashed. I think you just gotta blink away and go on a squishier target. You're not gonna win that. Mana Void was already used. He was in the middle of fighting the Ancients as well. Zaraxxus just needs to get that BKB. They'll get some damage on this tier 3, but it will survive. Dire will back up. A shard coming out now on CM. Bottom outpost claimed, as well as good some good ward vision in the Radiant Jungle. So shard done on CM. 400 gold off of Blink. CM's got uh, got some decent farm. Disruptor desperately trying to finish this glimmer cape. This will come in handy. Save whoever gets uh, Omni slashed. Blast rig picked up on on Dire. You get that on Slardar definitely. Mm-hmm. Although Slardar is carrying the Mindbreaker right now. Which could give him just as much lockdown for if he goes on an anti-mage. Mid lane. Oh, <laughs> Grumpy gets bashed for half his HP. He's just got to make a bit of space for Sir Let's get this BKB. Is that Paladin Sword on... Uh... On who? I assume it's going to go on Eagle. Yeah, it's on Eagle. So I'm nice Eagle, Eagle coming down searching for Sir Yep. So blink away. It's the right thing to do. 
Yep, you do not want to fight right now. Not until Pugna's alive. And even then... That that wipe at bot might might be the uh, deciding team fight here. Dire now with a 7k net worth lead. The graph shows it as well. It went from a 56% before that fight to now 79% for Dire. Yeah. Batady in with the crush. BKBs. But a bash through it. Heretic commits his ult. The Static Storm dropped as well, but they're BKB'd and spinning. They'll just walk out of it. Yoso, the shackle does not latch. Grumpy trying to man up and get a suck onto Bainty Potato, but he has to run away. The Ravage is too late to save Grumpy. He's got to buy back. The Omni Slash committed as well. That kills the Spirit Breaker. Now Eagle trying to spin away. He will. And Dire will back it up. A three for one, including a buyback. Oh, but Radiant don't want to let him get away that easily. Xeraxis. Oh, a big zap! A big zap from the Nether Ward puts CM at 1 HP, and one right click from Xeraxis is enough. Now they're hunting Stabi. Get the decrep on him. He lifts himself away, but not out of the range of the suck, so Wahlberg brings that one back a little bit. The graph's, uh, the graph's curving upwards. Yeah. BKB onto Xeraxis as well now. I think you... I don't take this tower here. I think you. I think you go Roche. You got to get this Aegis onto Zara under Zaraxis. Oh, with the anti match and the Pugna, you could take that tower so quick though. Take the tower, push the creeps, go Roche on the way back. No Omni slash for seventy. Yoso's alive. I, I'd be worried about Slardar blinking in, but no Omni slash on Eagle means he's not going to show up. So if you're going to Roche, you have to do it now. They're not going to do it. 33 minutes in. Roche is Nerd. Grumpy untouched. Nerd's heading towards it. Coming there. No. Oh, no, nope, nope, nope. Just walking through the river. Oh. It's on a Sunday stroll, mate. Hmm. What's the Rex is going for? Scardy. Okay. Go for me. I don't know. I think... Um... With the Omni slash down and everything, I think Xerax is just getting BKB. You kind of want to push a fight now. Like That's a strong item for an anti-match. Eagle looking to get an Ags next. He's TPing up to the top outpost. Looks like they wanted to go do Roche. And they can take it very fast. Yeah. Get the old haze on there. Radiant. Oh, Xeraxis just TP bot. All right, they won't be contesting this one. This will be a free radi uh, free Aegis. Probably going on Eagle. On the plus side, Radiant about to be reminded that Roche is in the game. Slardar's got a hyperstone towards his soul. Oof. More bashes. Maybe you just, uh, you're ahead now. Maybe you just turn that hyperstone into a moon shard and you just try to chain bash the anti mage. Mm -hmm. Radiance mid tower is coming apart. Yoso blinks in, gets a shackle onto Reg. They're gonna look to dive this. This, uh, it's a nice static storm, but they have no way of keeping them in it. Reg, are you gonna just, oh. are you gonna use Reg the ravage the or not? No, he glimmer capes. He's alive. Eagle very low. Also, Yoso very low. He's gonna have to back out. Zerax is right. Yep, Zerax. I think they're looking. They're looking for. They want to have a, a spirit breaker charge first, and a ravage follow up. And now with uh, oh no, focus fire is back up for Yoso. I was gonna say with ult, with ults down on Dire, but they actually have all their ults. Well, they're TPing back, but uh, Eagle's coming back in smoked. Unfortunately, the Raxus is not there. Will the tower go down? I think uh, it will. It will. There oh, it goes. the deny. Nice deny, but tower falls regardless. This will come in handy. It's uh.
So it ends up being a a, a good hold, if you could call it that, for Radiant, because they don't lose anybody. They burned a little bit of time off the Aegis. It's almost a win for Radiant, because they didn't lose anyone, and they got a tower. I right? didn't get a tower, they've still got um, a tier 2 on the Radiant side that Dai don't have anymore. There is about to be a, an interesting clash of 5v2 in the... Yep, Eagle trying to take Eagle the outpost. <laughs> oh, he gets bashed out of... Was that the Slip Slash? No, that was. Because here's the full Omni Slash. Maybe Potato going to get... Oh, the Ravage is on nothing! Oh, this could be... This could turn. Maybe Potato very low, though, trying to chase down Grumpy. Zorax is trying to get in to buy space for his mid. Should get the kill on Mady Potato here. Meanwhile, out in the outpost, Eagle gets the ult. Gets ulted by Spirit Breaker, but he'll just chunk him down with the right clicks. Now it's time to out the rest of the teams there. It's yep. time to get it, out. It's time to run. All spells used on nice shackled by Yoso. Oh. And this is a this is a dead pugna for sure. Oh buying some time at least. But it's four dead on Radiant. And this will be a bottom set of Rex. Zarax is trying his best. He's gonna try to rat this out. Radiant's bottom tower ain't a pretty needs to get pressure on the on the top lane. Reg can slow this down with the Gush, the Fortify as well. They'll have Fortify up again after this tier 3 falls. Stabby also stealing the suck. Zaraxxus, oh, Zaraxxus, I think you just need to buy the Scotty, my guy. He just goes right past the secret shop. I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't know if holding for buyback here is... Scotty's not a game-changing item, but it's going to let you man up much better, that's for sure. It might be the difference between dying and killing whoever you're going on first. Charge on a Yoso. Static Storm follow-up with a defensive telekinesis by Stabi gets him out. So the mid-tier 3 holds about a quarter HP. Zaraxxus is now back in the base. Still holding buyback. Aegis goes down in 45 seconds. Alright, what's the over-under on Eagle not realizing the Aegis expires and then he dies? Oh, he's going, like he's going he, uh... deep. If they can kite this out, they bash him a little deeper into the into the base. But that is just the Aegis. He actually will get his second life here. But he's he's in deep. Ravage just came up. He's gonna have to wait for it. The Ags by by Yoso pushing them into Dire. Oh, this is this is looking very bad. Although the supports on Dire are very low. They forced out two buybacks here. Ravage is ready. No spin on Eagle for two seconds. Uh, look at it, BKB. Rubik actually has a full nice. BKB. Steals Gush. It'll save Yoso. Taraxis, you gotta blink out, blink out, blink out! Nice, nice. Eagle's back though. He'll take the Rax, he'll back out. A full BKB done on the Rubik. To just ensure that he gets a, a good spell off. Slardar survives as well, so two lanes down. How's that graph looking? Oh, it's 98%. Yeah. It's 98%, and it says here 21k lead. It doesn't feel it though. It's it because all it's because all that ahead. all that net worth is on Eagle. Yeah. Now, now with an abyssal done. Regeneration. Oh no, Nanesk says there will be words. We'll be having words fighting after Eagle TP. Not sure which fight that was. That was, yeah. uh, that was the bottom lane Eagle uh, TPing out to go top and they went back in for the fight again. You might you might take this 2-0, but uh, you are not exempt from a chewing out. Yeah, it depends if you listen to the Nesk, really, doesn't it? <laughs> so.
<laughs> rabble! Rabble, rabble, rabble! That yeah, is exactly what Nines sounds sound? like. Yeah. I've met Nines now. Exactly. Perfect. Perfect rendition. You know what he said? Uh, I don't know. Radiant got one last I, I wasn't listening. <laughs> this could be... Could be a good item on on Reg here. He's got a halberd done. I think that'd be more more so for Yoso at this point. You're just you're just ex accepting that Eagle is going to get a slash off. The only thing I keep thinking right now is I am quite tired, and had Amos have turned up for this match, I'd be in bed by now. Blame Amos. Always blame Amos. Nice guy, though. Oh, the shard is done now on Reg, too. Oh, they got oh Stabby, Stabby steals charge, though. This could be the initiation that they're looking for. I think if Reg walks too far, if he walks up by this wall here, uh, they had Worm Vision, but they it got dewarded by Retro Frog. I would say just charge the Tide Hunter and try to try to lock him down before he gets a Ravage off, and that's most of their team fight. He does not have buyback as well. Oh, Heretic's gone. But in. Heretic goes that in, and instantly instant dies. Death. The Ravage is really nice though, but it's not stolen by Sabi. He steals the Anchor Smash instead. Eagle needs help here. Oh, nice. oh the, the, the gust, the gust though from, from Yoso to buy space. This could be the fight that Wahlberg is looking for. Grumpy, decrep Stabby. It's a suck battle. It's a <laughs> <laughs> And Grumpy wins the suck oh battle. It's God. it's a four for it's a four for one with a buyback on, on Heretic. Seven K swing. A great hold. Swing. A great hold by Mark Wahlberg. Keeps the tier three alive. Four dead Incredible. on the side of Scipio. Only Yoso escapes, and even then, very low. Has his Daedalus. Now, though, do, do you put that on Heretic? Did Heretic sacrifice himself for the greater good there? It burned the shackle. It, it burned the shackle. It got them cl all clumped together because they're all like, oh, free kill. And then instantly, Reg, no hesitation, hits the Ravage. At least three. And they had plenty after that. Yeah, no. It was I think a they great... caught Eagle off guard quite badly there as well. He was far too far in. He, uh, he... They focused well as well, like uh, Radiant focusing their targets. Target priority, great. That graph. All right. 88%. Oh. They swung it, swung it a little bit. Got a little kick at the bottom. So. Oh wow! If you Miami look at it carefully, you'll Buffalo. see the graph is uh, actually mapping out the shape of Italy. If Italy were on its side, a little bit of a boot going on. A little bit. We still gotta draw the heel though. So one oh, more, one more win by. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how that's drawn. <laughs> one more win by Radiant. They know Roche is up, but Dire also knows that they were just in there. They just scanned it. A Radiant smoke. Oh. A smoke on smoke here. Oh, 25 seconds till Ravage. This this is gonna be this is gonna be costly for Radiant. Reg gets caught first, and there's a Swift Slash. But Eagle gets caught by the Static Storm. He has to Manta out. He actually Mantas over the wall, which lets him walk out of the storm. Reg to fall as well. It's three dead with a buyback on Grumpy. Yeah, you just you can't fight there without Ravage. I don't know. I think that was a little yeah. preemptive on that smoke. That that was that was a throw. And now they're going to take a free Roshan. Get that sh Who doesn't have Shard? Oh, dear. Everybody, everybody on Radiant has Shard, so it will go, uh... It will go onto the ground. Mean Dire. Uh, yeah, on Dire. And CM now, with a full BKB. I think Sirax. the polite thing would be to give the Shard as a gift. No, they, they've 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 had enough. They're like, you've wasted enough of our night. Look what the tide washed in. 
Now buyback committed on Tide. He does have Ravage. No Static Storm for 10 seconds. Okay. So they will have everything they need. A nice, nice counter spell to reflect the Shackle, and they should kill Yoso here. Uh, the Ravage. The Gush misses Yoso as well. He's going to get out for free. Reg is in deep. He's just going to feed. That's a dieback on AM, a dieback on Tidehunter. I think this game is over. Megas now for SHE. Heretic with one desperate final charge onto Stabi just to get something. He gets shackled, he gets lifted, he gets brought down. No buyback on him as well. A glimpse oh, onto the CM, CM just just as a parting gift. Manny Potato three shots retro frog in his fountain. <laughs> a spite buyback by CM just to say, hey, I was alive at the end of the game here. Stabi BKBs gives him the reverse suck. He's sucking him off in fountain. And that's it. Maybe it, GG, lads. It this will be. be GG. It will be. With four dead on the side of Mark Wahlberg, the, the Radiant Ancient will fall. They dive just to rub it in. And it'll be a 2-0 for Scipio to start off Sunday uh, evening. It, it, did it, look good. it did look good for a while there. I will give it to them. They held on a lot longer than they did the first game. It was an admirable attempt. I'm not sure. Oh, I can't even accept this. I don't know why Ari sent me that, but. The boot was uh, is not he drawn. Up another game? Uh, it might have been. The boot did not get drawn. It might have been previous because I couldn't accept it, so the lobby might not even be open anymore, I think. So I think there's a second game for the one Flax just cast about to start. For Stessy Shitters versus the average Whopper Enjoyers. Let's take a look I don't know if Flax is casting Tame 2. Head over to Twitch. Uh, wasn't Beans also doing one, right? Yeah. Beans currently doing... Um, what's it? Wogan's Winners. Versus five foot three four one five nine billionaires. Oh, goodness. Stessy Shitters with a... A uh, massive victory over Whoppers. A 13-1 Marana? They ran Paz 1 Marana? Wow. It's, uh, something. Let me bring up Bean here. Give him the, the host. So, well played to Scipio. Another 2-0. Uh, does that put them at the top of the group? Uh, yes, it does. Oh, looking very good going into week four. Uh, we will be raiding Bean here in a second. I gotta bring up the... I don't like how there's, there's not just a button there. Like, there should be a button there like there is to host, but I have to do it through the dashboard. But uh, cheers for the Cocast Nutkin. It was great. No worries. Absolutely, we, no would, worries. we would do this again. Uh, I fun. will be off next week. I'm just working Monday. And then off the rest of the week. Off until next Tuesday, I believe. So I will be around, I will be around to do some week four matches if anybody needs. We'll get this raid onto Bean going. Cheers once again, everybody, for watching. Scipio's with a 2-0 over Mark Wahlberg. Great rest of your evening, everybody. Cheers for watching. And I'll, see, I'll see you next time.